Ando. Yep. We are back. Um, we're back fighting in this year, um, rare, raring to go. Didn't get to this last week because we had a lot of stuff in the show. Mm. But um, hey, there, there's so many that have come in. So many power moves that have come in. And probably, I mean, we would know we've had the inf- we've We're aware of how long the Dishonourable Second Edition is going to take <laughs> yeah. for Power Moves Volume 1. Mm. But are there rumblings of a Volume 2? Oh, well, we would have had to start it three years ago. <laughs> That's true. It's true. We'll have four Chinese New Year's to get through for Hawks to <laughs> negotiate with the factories. But yeah. should there be, yeah. I we guess should. this is where it begins. Yeah, absolutely. That is a great call. This is where it begins. Hey, I actually thought of one over the break. Yep. Oh, great. We should have done this back in the day. Mm-hmm. We, we, it's actually a power move, probably more suited to me because I'm not great with names. Yep. And this could have been, could have helped my natural, you know, issue I've got with remembering names and being a great power move at the time. Should have done a thing on the show where whenever we had a celebrity on, mm. forget their name. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, and yeah, points that, for the biggest the, celebrity. The, the biggest celebrity. So say we had Matthew McConaughey on yeah. just going, sorry, my, it's Michael, isn't it? <laughs> Because I don't think that that would ever happen to them. Because no. the celebs, when celebs come in a radio studio, they go, yeah. you all know me. I don't know who you guys are because yeah. I've just, you know, I've just got off a flight from New Zealand. I've done the brekkie bunch over there. If we have another And I've got guest. nine of you to do today. And I've got no, just some random Australians in a studio. If but, we have another guest on this podcast, and it may be the reason to book someone. Yeah, but we should name. do paper, rock, scissors between who, <laughs> which one of us forget their name. has to forget their name in the opening segment. <laughs> Lo- yeah, I'd absolutely love to. Just, I love it. Just be like, sorry, it's, it's Ian Wilson, isn't it? It's Owen Wilson. Oh. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Owen, yes. Loved the film. <laughs> really funny. What's, what's Vance Vaughn like? <laughs> love it. Hey, this is from Jaron. Power move. When you have guests over for dinner... If they go to sit down in a chair, get a bit of toilet paper and lay it down on the seat just before they sit down and look at them and say, just in case. (laughs) 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 Toilet paper, not even paper towel. (laughs) Toilet paper. (laughs) Brutal. All sorts of strange things will be going through that person's mind. (laughs) Just to be safe. (laughs) Just to be safe. Um. Mm. Here, this comes in from, uh, sorry, from Raul. Yep. This is for when flights resume. Oh, we God. Love a, we love a specific category, yes. but for when flights resume. When boarding the plane, you sometimes see white vapours like mist coming out of the baggage bins in the ceiling. Yes. It looks like smoke, but in reality, it's just vapour from the air conditioning. I always lean over to the person next to me and say, huh, I've never seen that before, and I fly a lot. <laughs> 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 if they weren't a nervous flyer before, they will be now. <laughs> It's normally in the change of humidity. It's a hot day to it. Yeah. yeah. Thailand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is from Jed Walker, Ham. Ahoy, boys. Power move for you. And this is one that we might be able to use on each other mm. if we ever rock again. Oh, great. Yeah. Band base. This is band base. Make sure you're the last to leave the studio or the music room after right, practice. After rehearsal. Yep. <laughs> This might not be for us then. <laughs> We're not too heavy on rehearsing. Deliberately tune a bandmate's instrument really out. Guitar, bass guitar, violin, whatever, stringed instruments work the best. This causes them to spend a lot of time tuning the instrument in the next practice while you all wait around looking at your clocks. <laughs> I think it's going to work a treat. It's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. We had an incident like that. But I now look back and go, this is very, very harsh, but the at our school we had a sister school, I think in Japan, mm-hmm. perhaps Kyoto, mm-hmm. um, and they visited um, students from Year 9, visited, you know, now Year 9, whatever that's kind of thing. I wasn't part of that. I wasn't no access for me, mm. being a common man, but some other kids in the year level were allowed to go. <laughs> but when the visiting sister school came, I think whoever was in charge, they wanted to play a song, like, you know, yep. at assembly, like some of the kids from Kyoto. And, um, yeah, the guitar was untuned terribly. <laughs> and they played Let It Be, and he went to do the guitar solo, and it was, <laughs> it was, not know, good. It was a shambles. I, uh, last day of year 12. Year now, that's 12. not what sister schools are about. <laughs> yeah. Sister schools are about to be promoting, like, love and harmony. Yes. 
not, not, not giggles not, and pointing. Not, not absolute power <laughs> moves across across the Pacific. Last day of uh, year 12, year 12 yep. concert. Um, yeah. I got up to play Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. <laughs> What do you mean? On what? <laughs> On guitar, right? Yeah, right. And Sorry, it, I just it, immediately thought Trump. <laughs> <laughs> what I would have given to see 17-year-old Andy honking out nothing else matters on the horn. <laughs> <laughs> I will play nothing else please, matters. Please, please, by the end of the year. By the end of the year, I'll play nothing else matters on the trumpet. But um, so much else matters <laughs> apart from that song on the trumpet. In fact, that's the thing that matters the least in life is hearing that song on the trumpet. And I was, and I, there was, I had a, a pretty cool, pretty good guitar player, Johnny Ketz. He was going to do the oh, solo, Ketz, yeah. and I was just playing rhythm. Didn't know that if you left a guitar in the sun, it completely goes out of tune, right? <laughs> Does it really? Yeah. So I've tuned it up, like, really prepared two hours before, left it in the sun. Yeah, great. <laughs> Gone out there, started um, started singing. It's completely out of tune. And I've also first time set up a microphone and had put the microphone arm Secured it way too far back, so I started singing and it started dropping. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of stopping, I just, just lowered it. my head <laughs> until I was singing below my knees. <laughs> It's like a Red Faces performance. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy trying to do a song whilst doing a funny thing as well. And to, to, Kenny, to Ketz's credit, he still tried to play the solo. Yeah. He, he had every right to walk off. <laughs> he could have. I mean, he, you just should have stopped. Gosh, you were bringing right. two bad yeah. things to the group and he probably had one good thing, which is still a net one bad thing. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, sorry. Well, last one. Quick, last, quick, last power move. Quick last power move. Um, this, is a, this is a great power move to try on a, on a housemate. Um, works best in a share house. Oh, this is from Tess. Ahoy, Tess. Um, if you live with someone that likes, you know, you've obviously got a share house, let's say, you know, three bedrooms, one bathroom. If you live with someone that likes to brush their teeth and wander out of the bathroom in the morning, yep. perhaps doing stuff, as soon as you see them leave the door, quickly jump in and start doing a poo. <laughs> or at least sit on the toilet for as long as you can. So they're then walking they'll, around brushing their teeth still. They're stuck. Yep. They're stuck. <laughs> then they'll knock on the door and you just yell out, I'm doing a poo. And, <laughs> and they have to wait. They have to wait until such time as you feel you've had enough fun and you can leave the bathroom and they can reholster the toothbrush. Lovely to have it back. <sighs> hey, man. Power moves, uh, there'll be an announcement. We're going to check in with Hogs a little bit later on in the show with regards to the Power Moves book and the re-release or the Dishonorable Second Edition. Yep. Don't know what he's got for us, but, <laughs> but we'll find out soon. But He's got some, I guess it's a manufacturing update, isn't so it? So many great things coming in at hamishnanny.com, so we should get into it. Well, we are racing, uh, I guess, towards... That, uh, that second edition, aren't we? Mm. The, the bucket is filling up rapidly. A oh, volume two. Volume two, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah, not, you would not. assume that all these ones that are getting read now since the publication of volume one are eligible for selection. That's a good point. To the Prime Minister's 11, mm-hmm. which will be volume two. Yes. But will also, again, you would assume be <laughs> <At> 100. 100. <laughs> Hell of a power move, though, to make volume two only 99 moves, thus rewarding <laughs> those that have volume one. And... Uh, Tell me if this is a power. I've got my own theory about mm-hmm. this. We get a lot of urinal ones. Yep. Um, you know, the, the classic one is if there's sort of five spots of the urinal, there's one person there. Go and go next to them. Yep. Or yeah. even just stand behind someone so if you're waiting up. for their particular That's one. That's right. We which would definitely queuing. put pressure on them. We're queuing up for the urinal. And that works more, I suppose, like, you know, let's say loosely 20% of guys. Uh, have stage fright at the urinal. Cool. So if you get lucky and it's someone that has stage fright, you'll you'll have more power over them. This comes in from Dave Grimmer, who lists his country as New Zealander. Mm-hmm. And he says, I've got a, I just got power moved. Just walked into a men's toilet with a urinal. Bloke had his arms crossed while pissing. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so intimidated in my life. He didn't skip a beat when I walked in either, so I'm so humbled. Now, I think it is a power move because he was already like that <laughs> when, <laughs> when Dave walked in, but... I don't know. Yeah. The, if, we, think, if we're going... I don't think it's a power move. I think that you're just in awe of someone. You know, if someone does something awesome, mm. I don't go, 
I, it's not a power move on me. It's just like, oh, gee, the, what a what a what a fellow. Because the hand, the hand assist when you're yeah. at the urinal. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't even know if we call it the hand assist. Yeah. I mean, the normal way you go to the urinal. Yes. It's not like it's an obscure move to use a hand. No, it's for aiming. Yeah, because if you don't, you yeah. run you run a you could run a the risk. risk of a wet hand. Yes. So, so I don't know if it, I mean the 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 reason you have hands crossed, you could be looking at a. An IP, a very, very IP that, that can't move anywhere but straight forward. <laughs> you know what I mean? An, oh, yeah. A micro P. A micro P, yeah. So suddenly. But you it, can, I'm not saying you can't pull a power move with a micro P. Yeah. Um, and I guess hand, arms <laughs> crossed is the move to pull. I don't know. It's an interesting one. Hey, and this is from Hal Folks. Hello, Hal. Slightly longer one, but definitely worth it, I reckon. Oh, hi, boys. Noticed this one the other day on my own street. Good way to mess with your neighbors is to put out the wrong bin on bin night, but be the first person to do it. Your yep. neighbors, neighbors will most likely use the model of bin that you're using because yep. some will have different alternating glass. Alternating weeks. Yeah, yeah, alternating weeks, glass, recycle. Once enough of your street have put out their bins, change your <laughs> bin for the correct one just before <laughs> bin night. Good. They'll all wonder why yours was collected and theirs wasn't. <laughs> it's really good. And I feel like I've fallen for it. Yeah, I've absolutely like fallen for it. Um... This is from Maddox. Yep. And uh, um, school based power move. Uh, and I like this because it's one of those less is more. I think if you got yeah. greedy and went for a huge one here, it wouldn't be as effective. So, mm-hmm. school based power move in maths class, when the teacher isn't looking, go up to the whiteboard and change just one number they've written. For example, change <laughs> it three to a four. <laughs> then sit back down and after some time has passed, raise your hand and go, sorry. Shouldn't that three be a four? <laughs> or shouldn't that four be a three? And I reckon the more subtle the change, yes. the better. Because if you just change it like a million, yeah. they know someone's been messing with the board. And if you can nail the teacher's style of four, love it. That's Absolutely a power love move. It. Zoe, ahoy to you. She writes, power move for you that works in corporate or recreational settings. Good to have. Whenever there's a shared elevator yep. and you step into a lift with someone already in there, or someone that walks in with you, just say, level four, please. Good. <laughs> Immediately Thank you. makes them feel like they're a mere elevator attendant and makes you look like you're the one too busy to press buttons. And no one, no one's saying no. No, I'd love to. I'd love someone to have the presence of mind to go, press it yourself. You're press- <laughs> but no one's doing that. And uh, mm. uh, this comes in from Caitlin. It was, it was done to her. And I dare say... You wouldn't mind doing this to me one day. Okay. It was done to her and she was shell-shocked. Um, she was in a meeting. She had a pen in her hand and she was clicking it quite a lot. Yep. Click, 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 without realising, just while she was thinking. Her friend next to her pulled the pen from her hand, sat it in front of her and loudly said, you can have it back when you can control yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amos. Time for this. I should point out um, huge applause to the Gogglebox uh, couple. I think it's mother daughter that have their Power Moves book on yeah. their table as they watch Gogglebox. A nationwide um, Power Move. A nationwide Power Move. Um, I'm feel bad that I don't know their names, um, yeah. but uh, I'll endeavour to, not, to, to I, learn them because I I'm very proud from, of them. I shan't rub it in by saying their names in front of you. Um, uh, I can handle it. Go for no it. No way. Not as hard Come as on, I'm going to rub it in. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. You think you've got thick skin, yeah, but can, you're actually quite why susceptible did I leave to the rubbing room? in. Why don't I just leave the room? You can tell Jack their exact names. Uh, I think we do need to press on because the old <laughs> shot clock's winding down, and we don't. We certainly don't want to run out of time for the app. Have a shot clock. But just uh, as a mateship move, yeah. there'll be no rub in from me because <laughs> I got you back. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> uh, okay, power move from Peter Hunt Ham. Ahoy, guys! I've got a pregnancy-based power move. Fun would be his, <laughs> would probably be his nickname. Yes, Funty. Uh, um, a pregnancy-based power move. Uh, this is from Peter, so I'm sure it's not that he's pregnant. Anyway, when anyone... Which inf- would be a power move. Mm. If when your wife gets pregnant, <laughs> you get break, <laughs> completely destroy all medical knowledge and evolutionary facts of our species by also getting pregnant <laughs> as a male. <laughs> 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 when you've got... Uh, when anyone informs you that a mutual acquaintance is expecting a baby, 
simply yep. reply, oh, they're telling people now. It yeah, gives it, the impression, yeah, even though it was good, good news to you, that yes. it's new news to you just then, that you knew the whole time. You knew, you knew before the 12 weeks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, you got in. You got in that special window. Really like it, Peter from UK. Um, Ando. Mm. Where this uh, comes in from Jack. Jack, also from the UK. There you go, okay. Foxabot. When you're in a fairly large group chat and someone you don't know too well asks a question, if you know the answer, message them with it privately, not on the group. The victim comes away feeling that you don't want to be seen by others engaging with them. <laughs> <laughs> That, that would work, actually. <laughs> it's just to them. Yeah, it's yeah. a complete... Because I, when I was reading it, I was like, oh, this is going to make you look powerful with the group. Yeah, no, no, it's a real <laughs> dig at them. <laughs> like it. Jonathan Ham, power move in an icebreaker situation. So new people coming right. in. When doing icebreakers uh, breakers with new people, uh, if you meet someone, say to them, if you could change anything about yourself, apart from the obvious, what would it be? <laughs> <laughs> Good icebreaker. <laughs> Without the apart from the obvious, it's such a funny selection as a question to be the icebreaker. Of all the possible questions you could ask someone, let's start with improvements. Where, where, where would we fix this? Where would we begin? Where would we begin? You, have to to, you can only pick one. <laughs> As a fun game, yeah. you can only pick one. That's the hard bit. What would you improve? <laughs> uh, uh, Ando, mm. this comes through, uh, through from Luke from the Blue Mountains. Because when someone else is setting the table for a group, mm -hmm. stop them and specifically ask for two serviettes for someone else. Not only does it show you consider it, but it makes it seem like that other person is a messy baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. oh, is that for Yeah, yeah. you'll need two serviettes. <laughs> I like it. Dave Jenkins. Ahoy, gents. Little power move for you. When you're away on a work trip with a few, uh, it needs to be a bunch of guys, but okay. there's an odd number of you. It's certain that someone will get a room to this themselves because normally on work trips they get paired oh, you together. Get, you get, yeah, you get teamed up. When we realise this and they're making the decision, instantly say, oh, I'm a terrible snorer and I sleep talk and I also sleepwalk. That way you'll end up with the room by yourself. It's good. It's good. But you've been given a room with me and it is well known that I... Honk you from time to time. You have honked. <laughs> Zoe knows all about your honking. She does. She's my frequent roommate. And um, but every night before we go to bed, asks reception if there's a chance for a solo room. <laughs> He's told no. She just still doubles, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, this comes in from Brennan. Mm. Um, Just on that though, will there be a point in your life? Because we know one of I'm our actually mates. Very, I'm actually very good now post surgery. Okay, good. Because there was one of our mates. Uh, unbelievably. He, so the problem now is dad, my breathing. His dad yeah. um, gets gets sent to another room now. Oh, a lot of people got, do it. I, I'll, I'll, like, no. I'll go to the spare room if I have to get up early. I'm a big okay. fan of the separate, the spare room sleep. Mm. Oh, if you've got to get up early. Yeah, so you I'll, don't I'll make love, so? Yeah. But yeah. I love throwing a little, it's like a little mini holiday in your own house. <laughs> oh, yeah. You use it sparingly, but yeah. it's good fun. Yeah. It's not to be frowned upon at all. I salute any couple that does it. Mm. But my, just while we're deviating for a second, I had the surgery on my nose to yeah. straighten it up and crack out the sinuses and stuff. Because it was it, a deviated, we've deviated the topic for a deviated, for a deviated septum. septum. Yeah. But I also had my sinuses and mm. like my voice changed. I'm used to it now, but my voice did change quite a bit a lot, too yeah. because I've got a huge, I've got like the opera house behind my sinuses now. Like the cavity is it's huge. It's enormous. Yeah, exactly. And the we wind. We found a stowaway in there one day. Yeah, we did. <laughs> the, the border control's always searching it because <laughs> yeah. it's like a, it's a false cavity. Mm. But the, the airflow now that I can get through my nose is mm. so powerful mm. that the snoring's not the issue. It's the turbine-like wind coming really? in and out of the yep. nose as I breathe. Great on a hot night for Zoe. You're just a breeze <laughs> coming yeah. across. She, she wouldn't can... agree. <laughs> in fact, it, it's got to the point yeah. where quite often in bed she'll go, listen to me. Nothing. That's how you're meant to breathe. <laughs> and you can listen to you. <laughs> And then she got to the point where she woke me up at three in the morning and said, can you hear how loud you're breathing? And I said, well, no, I was fast asleep. She goes, 
Call the surgeon. I said, what do you mean? Back it goes, out of it. She goes, can he undo it? Really? I don't think he can put stuff back in. <laughs> Once you've maybe. cleaned out something and sinuses, in I don't want it. <laughs> I said, I go, don't worry. She goes, why not? I said, because I can breathe now. It's I couldn't nice. breathe yeah. before. I'm, I'm, my goes, exercise is easier. No, but it was not. It's, well, a, it's, got, it's not even exercise. Like, I couldn't breathe through my nose. <laughs> like, I couldn't lie in bed and breathe. And I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it fell on, well, not deaf ears, but it yeah. fell on unwilling ears yes. um, and unhappy ears. Anyway, so Two honking was. You can pack your nose or she could pack her ears. I'd love to do the latter. <laughs> <laughs> since we're packing, since we're nominating body parts to be packed. <laughs> last one, um, and a last one. This is a cracker. Mm. It's a bow. Is it comes in from Brennan? Airport based. Great. And Brennan, um, Brennan flags this by saying, "Look, I haven't done this. I'm just the messenger." Mm-hmm. Next time you're travelling via the airport, fill an empty shampoo bottle with yogurt or some other edible substance of similar viscosity. <laughs> Once the airport security scans the bottle and says that you cannot take the liquid on, rather than discard the bottle, take the lid off and scull the contents. Love it. <laughs> because you could be bumped from the flight. You might even be questioned by police. I don't know. I don't work at an airport. <laughs> Sensational. Hey, time for... Yeah, it's good to get the guitar out. Yeah. There's a lot of power that's going on in the world and we need to catalogue it, Ando. Sniffs of a uh, volume two for the Power Moves book. You uh, can smell it in the wind, can't you? <laughs> yeah. We're not sure we, what it is. And we're not sure when it's coming out and we're nev- we're not, we're definitely not yep. going to do a pre-order situation because yep. that was a debacle. If, that we, was if a debacle. we do go ahead with it. <laughs> If we do, and we don't even know what the smell on the wind is at this stage, it could be a neighbouring campsite simply making lunch, or it could be the, the, the tasty smells of a volume two. We don't know. Noses to the air, and um, stay tuned. Yeah. Hey, and this one comes in from Latoya Bowles. She on, says, um, when you ask someone how they're going, after they respond, simply say, glad to see you back on track. <laughs> <laughs> even even if they say not that great, we can say glad to see you more on track. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, great. Mm. Um, Ando mm. comes in from alert uh, contributor Charlie Steele from Canada. When driving to a friend's house to pick them up, text them here five minutes before you arrive. <laughs> <laughs> causing them to go to the door for no reason. Yeah. After that, they'll likely stay by the window, patiently waiting for you to arrive like a dog. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Pretty good. We did that the other day. I was picking up my mate Tom, uh, Dunk and I, and I was driving. I said, uh, Dunk said, oh, I've, I've texted him here. Um, as we were turning in, I was like, oh, all right, you just make sure he's coming out. And <laughs> immediately got back, no, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I had, I had a similar one with mum where I was having to pick her up from a hotel. She was visiting, she's up from Melbourne and she was staying at a hotel in Sydney and I was a bit late. I was going to be 10 minutes you? late to pick her up. Yeah, no, 10 minutes early or late, all early or late. But only because she, it's an arms race with mum because she's always so late. Yeah. Anyway. It's like, I was actually probably more on track to be about six minutes late. She rings me at five past. I'm probably one or two minutes when she goes, I'm just wondering, where are you? She said, I'm very close. Someone goes, okay, well, well call me upon approach. Yeah. Went, no, no, don't, don't go back upstairs. <laughs> don't go. Because <laughs> yeah. she's like, well, if you're not here, I might I might just go and do some things. So no. you have to, you know, I was like, no, 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 I'm here. Then I had to lie and go, I'm pulling up out the front. Yeah. She came out. I was late. And I went, but I, I know if I told you, you had one minute. Yeah. It's You'd go and then. redo your hair. And then, <laughs> then, I, then I'd be like, well, that's going to take ages and I'd go and have breakfast and then <laughs> it'd be midnight. <laughs> hey, this is from Finn de Hamel from New Zealand. Nice. When you're going for a walk, Ham, and you yep. walk past someone that uh, has a dog, uh, yep. as soon as you get close to them, so go, easy boy, easy boy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it makes it look like they've got an aggressive dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. People... You experience this, Ando. Yeah. I mean, people will be running in terror when they see your <laughs> the dog, dog coming down the street, <laughs> to toppling over power lines and stuff because it can't duck under them, the tall terrier. But on a, with a normal necked dog. Beck, um, <laughs> sorry, Beck, sorry to interrupt, but we're at the footy the other day and Beck comes back from getting us a beer and Beck, Beck goes, 
how tall do you think Andrew is going to be? I said, what? She goes, what have you been telling people? And I said, right, no, I have <laughs> But Tall someone, enough that we'll have to put a flashing red light on its head so helicopters don't fly into it at night. <laughs> someone at the bar turns to Beck as they're leaving with their drinks and went, looking forward to seeing the tall terrier. Can't wait. Are you, are you nervous? <laughs> and just walked off. <laughs> Absolutely can't wait. Get your, uh, get your crampons on if you ever want to <laughs> climb up to its head and brush its fringe. <laughs> and, uh, yep. Uh, here's a, uh, here's a bit of a rip up. This comes in from Cam Carroll. It's power move ideal for someone 30 plus. Okay. So we're in the, we're in the slot here. Mm. When so seeing an so old Jack. Sco- so yep. Jack. Yeah. Oh, old boy. Oh. Grey beard. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, when seeing an old school friend who was more academic than you, yeah. but you haven't seen for many, many years, ask them enthusiastically if they still work at the same job they had during school. Mm. <laughs> I.e. <laughs> Adam, how are you? It's been years. Are you still at Wendy's? Gee, you'd be, gee, you'd be pretty high up there by now. <laughs> it does give the impression you didn't expect much from them and knew their early successes would be short-lived. <laughs> I really like it. I really like it. I'm, I'm reticent to throw one more in the mix. I like so much, that's but I will. thousands of volts, that oh, power It is, isn't it? Um, this is from Nate. In the US. (laughs) Power move. When setting up your new Wi-Fi, look up the nearby network names. If someone has named their Wi-Fi after themselves, simply copy their name but add the word superior in front of it. For example, (laughs) Superior Michael. Uh, hey, and we want to kick off today's show with this. So many good ones coming in. Hit us up, hamishnetty.com. This is the first time you've ever listened to the podcast. Welcome. But we Welcome. do encourage we, people going to back from the start. We know there are a an odd few, mm. an odd few. It's a very niche market who like to go in reverse order. Yes. Um, <laughs> but it is still very – the people that do go in reverse order that start at this episode then – you know, go all the way back through to episode number one. Yep. It feels very base jumping in the 90s. Yeah. Like, who are these guys? <laughs> you kind of hear stories about them, but you've never really met one, but you know it happens. Yeah. But it's wild. Yeah. And it's reckless. And you're better off and going it, from the start. And you're better off doing yeah. You're better off using the stairs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a more sensible way to get down. Mm. Um, do you want to keep up, Andrew? Shall I kick it off? Uh, you kick it off. This is a, uh, this is a cracker. Mm-hmm. Um, if it comes in from Jacob Fitzgerald. He goes, look, this is a power move that will take you straight to the top of any social gathering. Works particularly well with friends, mm-hmm. uh, but not best friends. Okay. When you're entering a gathering or party where there is a group situation or congregation of people in a central location, mm-hmm. when you approach the cluster of people, start by greeting the first person with a handshake. Then to assert power, greet the rest of the group with a hug. <laughs> This will leave the first person wondering, why am I not getting a hug? <laughs> Thus making them suck up to you in order to gain the status of hugworthy. Alternatively, to gain power over multiple people, mm. make most of the greetings hugs with a few scattered handshakes. <laughs> this will create a small cluster of people yearning for the superior greeting. <laughs> really like it. Really like it. This is from Aki. Ahoy, boys. Power move for you. When requ- requiring volunteers from a group. Okay, good. For a task that's not so great. Okay, so are you asking for volunteers yeah. or are you in the group that's no, been asking, you're asking? Yeah, okay, you're great. asking for volunteers. Ask an unrelated question such as, who here wants to go skydiving? Or can I get all the motorbike license holders to please raise their hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Proceed to hit them with the task. <laughs> Uh, you require the volunteers for. They'll have their hands up hoping to go skydiving or motorbike riding <laughs> instead receive an annoying task. <laughs> it's good. It's good. You're relying on a hand trap, I suppose. You're relying on, I guess, getting your question go, out Who wants faster. to go skydiving? Put out the bins, mate. <laughs> it's so it's you, doing. you are relying on getting the question out faster than someone can lower their hand. So you've still got them in the moment where they've got a raised hand. Mm. Um, and uh, this comes in from Angus Greaves. It's simple. Mm-hmm. It's not 
It's not highbrow. Okay. It is a bit juvenile. Mm. It made me laugh. Okay. I, I think it has to count as a power move. When you are getting into a crowded elevator with a friend, wait till you're in, then turn to your friend and say, please, please don't fart again. It's good. I like it. I like it. Rob Gibbons has written this one. one of those ones you're like, we must have had that before. I don't think we have, but it's just, a, just please don't fart again. It's, it's a great one. It doesn't have to be elevators either. Rob Gibbons, power move. When ordering a coffee where you take your name and they wait to call it out, yep. give them the name Big Dog. Oh, good. When, when the, when you'll have the whole room's attention and respect when they call out your order. I like that. I really like that. That's kings. Kings to that. That's kings to that. Kings to that. Um, okay, here we go. Last one. This comes from uh, Juhi. Here's a power move for someone mowing their lawn for the first time with a new mower. So I guess in a suburban situation, you just go, oh, hang on a sec. Looks like Dave's got a new mower. Uh, wait till they've finished mowing the lawn. Uh, stride over. So, I mean, this is, this is in a heavily, and this is a Saturday morning heavy investment power move. Stride over and go, yep, the first one's always a bit scruffy. <laughs> you know, you'll get there. <laughs> Hey, so many flooding in at hamishnetty.com and we love them, so let's do this. What do you got? This one comes in from Campbell. Conversation power move. Great. Works better in a group. When telling a story about a local criminal or along the lines of... <laughs> <laughs> or along the lines of... Oh, old Fidgets Wilson... <laughs> Turn to a member of the group and say, oh, actually, you might know him. <laughs> <laughs> you will give me the impression that that individual, individual is of a lower social bracket. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love a good yarn about a local crook? <laughs> Um, I've got I've got two today, and they're both fiercely a-hole moves, right? Yeah. Real asshole moves. Okay. Um, but good, very goodies, uh, very, very good ones. comes in from uh, Mitchell Coppas. When driving uh, or, s- or, sorry, when driving and stationary in your car, so let's say you're at a pedestrian crossing, hmm. make eye contact with a pedestrian you do not know. Hold up your hand in a stationary wave. Okay. So a bit of a, how's it going? Yeah. Right? Uh, when they wave back, obviously confused as to who is waving at them, continue your hand movement and reach up a little more and pull down the sun visor. <laughs> <laughs> this will leave them waving at a stranger in a car and looking like a weirdo. I like it. Um, Tom Ingram from Hong Kong. Tommy boy. Ahoy to you, Tommy boy. Power move for you. When you're watching a movie with your parents and a sex scene comes on, Wait a few pe- few seconds, then turn to your parents and say, is this the kind of filth you two are into? Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good front foot. <laughs> it will change the power balance forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a good front foot. Um, okay, uh, if you're on the phone, this is when you're on the phone to someone. This comes in from Timothy Ball. Um, hey, g'day, boys. Here's a power move. Whenever you're on the phone to someone and the moment arises, and this one does rely on some good timing here, give the person a compliment. Now, the the, the choice of compliment would be interesting here, such as, you know, like, you're great looking, mm-hmm. something like that. Okay. When the person on the phone says, thank you, immediately say, oh, I wasn't talking to you. This uh, this not only gives the person a false sense that being complimented, but also makes them feel like you've got someone else there that's more important to talk to than them. <laughs> From Adam, oh, he's in Canada. Didn't uh, I hadn't purposely sought out international ones, but they're flooding in thick and fast. He uh, he says, if you see a workmate pull up in their vehicle, ask them, "Oh, is your car in the shop?" It insinuates <laughs> that they'd only be driving that vehicle <laughs> because they couldn't drive their regular car. When they respond that their car is in the shop, go, well, I hear those get great mileage. <laughs> Real good. Real solid.
I think there's been so many coming in, so it's time to do this. The, our quest continues to find every single power move there is uh, to give you the upper hand in social situations. This one came in from Chris Harden, Canada. Lovely. A, uh, I mean, we, I, I thought we would be done by now, but I feel like it honestly feels like we're just scratching this. <laughs> I agree. It feels like every week more and more avenues open up to us. This one is not an asshole move, which is a welcome relief. <laughs> from, from <laughs> I mean, gone from. are the days when we thought it'd be 50-50, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Nowadays, it's just, we cannot, we can't believe what we're finding. This is, yep. a le- oh, here we go, a, a tiny oasis of legend move in the <laughs> desert of asshole moves. <laughs> As a person who hosts online Zoom meetings a lot, I'm constantly asked to share my screen. So I've changed the na- names of the tabs at the top of my screen to say, Quantum physics, charity work, donations. <laughs> so all the tabs across, it went every issue. <laughs> so it looks, of course, to the class like I'm the most intelligent, generous person in the world. Very good. This one is an asshole move. It comes in from Emily. When you're the lead driver in a convoy of cars, keep switching lanes. The cars following you will have no choice but to switch lanes with you. Even if they realise what you're doing, they're forced to keep following in case you need to make a turn. And I especially like that one, Emily, because I know how much it would annoy you if you caught on to what was happening. I feel like you'd... I feel like if I did that four times... You would, I would. Some, you'd, try you'd, try <laughs> I would try you'd try something. You'd try something. You'd try something. I don't know what it would be, but you'd try something. <laughs> That's so true. James Forster writes in here, Ham. Yep. He says, "Power move, ideal in social ga- gatherings, particularly when I'm talking to strangers or loose acquaintances." Okay. If they ever happen to ask how my work is going, I always respond respond with. Good, but I could use a new PA. (laughs) (laughs) Good, not lying. (laughs) Exactly. Obviously, it makes him appear superior. It indicates that he had a PA, but he's looking for a new one. (laughs) Very good, James. Uh, Very, very nice. And uh, look, I know we've had had a few in this region. Mm -hmm. Um, It's to do with the toilet. Okay. And someone going off to the toilet. I believe in the first Power Moves book, we've got when someone goes, excuse me, I seem to go to the toilet, mm. then they're leaving the table at a restaurant. Mm. You say it, number ones or two. <laughs> you do a or two, just to put them on the spot because having to answer that information is, is in itself a low status <laughs> position to be in. Yes. I don't think we've had this exact one. It made me giggle. It comes in from Michael. Um, if you're in a group and someone has gone to the toilet, when they come back, mm. so let's say at a restaurant, Take the opportunity to loudly say, gee, that took a while. Did you poo again? Is that number four for today? <laughs> <laughs> Showing that yep. they're, they're, they've got an unusually high <laughs> frequency procession yes. of poos coming out <laughs> for the day. <laughs> That's great. Bailey uh, from the UK, Ham. Uh, this is a text message based power move. Okay. Whenever someone, friend or not, sends a link in a group text chat, immediately claim the link has a virus and tell everyone not to click on it. (laughs) 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 They're really good. They're really good. Uh, um, Okay, I've got one more here. What do I have? A bit of a toss up here. I think I'm going to go for Matt. Okay. Um, Appreciate you writing in, Matt. He, Matt works in a hospital. He's a wardsman, which I, oh, yes. which I don't know what, I mean, it gives you a, is, is that the head of the ward or is it just someone that works on the ward? I don't know. I think because it sounds like swordsman. It just sounds really it's, cool. It just sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's a wardsman. Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes he goes, sometimes when I see a nurse I've met before, but I'm not too close with, I'll say to them, well, if it isn't my sixth favorite nurse. <laughs> This gives them the satisfaction of being in the top 10, but the disappointment that they're not number one, this makes them want to try harder to move up the ladder. <laughs> well, guess- and we know the the sting, that double-edged sword sting mm. of, of having a number six in the team. Yeah. Six, yeah. 
Six six, hertz. Six, six <laughs> hertz. But 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 when Jack, I mean, you're six in the loyalty cards, and and we sent out twenty nine nine ninety of those. Yeah, nearly. 30, so you know 000. you're enormously close to the top, yep. but six still hurts. Yes, but in the immediate team, I'm very low status. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what an honest way to end. <laughs> Hey, they're coming in thick and fast, so we better catch up on a few of these. All right, it's power move time, and a very rare, and I'm not saying this is a fully fledged, completely polished one, but yep. very rare will we bring our own power moves to the table. Well, we love. But we've them, had a few. Yes. We've had a few in the past. One occurred to me the other day, and this is this hasn't come in an email, but who knows? Maybe it's floating around. We just haven't seen it yet. But you know what phrase I love in movies. <laughs> is when somebody, it's usually to sort of, you know, let's say there's a crime boss or someone and somebody makes a bold suggestion or whatever and there's a tense moment. Usually the crime boss will go, I like the balls on this guy <laughs> and then kind of like agree to, yeah, to, to entertain their thought. Yeah. But it still keeps the crime boss in a yeah. very high position. Mm. I, uh, I nominate, and I tried this out at a cafe the other day, where it's a place we go a lot, and so I kind of know the guy there. But I was like, let's let's we could up this. Yeah. We could up this. You could up this to strangers. Guy guy came up to the table and said, "You guys ready to order?" And I said to my wife, "I like the balls on this guy." <laughs> okay, you can, uh, <laughs> you can have our water. So to any request, you can make it look like it was ballsy of them to ask you, but uh, but you're going to allow it. Really like it. Really what a like it. I hope I like it. Hey, this one's from Tom. Hey, boys, a subtle yet extremely effective power move. If you're ever leaving your family or partner for a few nights on a trip, take all the toothpaste with you. (laughs) 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 I don't need to say more. He goes on to explain and it leaves them stranded like we know. (laughs) <laughs> it's a terrific move. <laughs> and if they notice, yeah. just send them a shot of you lounging with it at the hotel. Um, great one. And uh, it comes in from Kathy. Mm. Sneezing power move. Ooh. Like a sneezing power move. Yep. Dangerous when in this someone, environment with COVID it around. Is, yeah. It is. But why not bring a bit of fun back to, the, back <laughs> yeah. to it? When someone sneezes more than twice, mm. wait for them to sneeze again. So I guess she's, when someone's got a yep. run on. Wait for them to sneeze again before saying firmly, that's your last one. (laughs) (laughs) I really like it. And I really like from Kathy V. She's thought about this because if you go, okay, that's two, I'll let them have three Three. because if if they stop, it makes it look like you stopped them. (laughs) Yes. And and if they they keep going... Mm. Then it just makes them look like they're an absolute renegade and they've b- b- betrayed you. But I like I like her idea that three is usually the max. I agree. Three is normally the max, so it's, it yeah. does feel like that they're obeying. You're a your good command. chance to have them obey. This is from Tim from Brisbane. Ham, uh, power move. When someone is looking for something that they've lost, say there it is, and when they say where, say oh, I'm just practicing for when I find it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, we've seen this done in real life. It's a, it's a classic, but it's a good one. Yep. Aaron has sent this in. Um, when you're with a friend that buys communal food for the table, like chips or wedges, uh, tell anyone who'll listen. If you're the person that hasn't bought them, tell anybody who'll listen, feel free to have some. Mm. They're for everyone. <laughs> 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 this does make it look like you were the person that got the, got the food for the table. <laughs> really like it. Uh, Haim, this one is from Jordan and he says, I, f- I saw this on Reddit and it's a power move. So it's a little unconventional. It's a little longer. There are so some classics that, f- that float around from time to time. I mean, the all time classic that we, we get off over and over kind of goes in waves was the, you put the candle in front of the, the air freshener. Yeah. Um, to, to create a little flame throw. The automatic one, one that, that, that yeah, occasionally yeah, goes off. Yeah. This one was just a, a guy's post. So it has happened. He said, a friend of mine got pants, underwear and all at a party. So he got dacked, everything came down. Instead of pulling his underwear and pants up immediately, <laughs> <laughs> he just kept going about his business <laughs> with hanging wow. dong. Wow. Those of us that knew him thought it was hilarious, 
some people at the party that didn't know him really got uncomfortable. Yep. As he went across to play table tennis, <laughs> the host came up to him and said, <laughs> dude, why don't you pull your pants up? Pants guy said, I didn't pull them down. <laughs> Then found the guy that put them down and made him pull his friend's pants back up. <laughs> I'm not in control. <laughs> it's really not they a do my what concern. They want. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I, I understand the distress it's causing, but I'm not responsible for the pants being lowered. They still come in thick and fast, so let's get into this. Power moves. Can I kick us off yeah. with one from Jordan Macon? It's definitely an arsehole power move. Great. He said it's suitable for specific situations. I think it's very specific, and I'm not sure if anyone's ever done this, including we, him. <laughs> we, we kind of love these ones. I mean, they do come in from time to time, mm. don't they, these power moves, where they go... You know, just do that. You know, like if you see a cop and they're about to tase you, you know, quickly grab their gun. That's a better weapon than a taser. <laughs> yeah, like, like no one's doing that's that. That's not the oh, power so not I, recommended. And I just don't think that's happened I'm outside so of John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suspicious of this one. I think it's in the same realm. When walking past an op shop with a friend, offer to carry their bag. When passing the donation bin, toss their bag in. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a cracker. It forces the friend to leave jacket. their bag, resulting in loss of all content, or attempt to retrieve it, which gives the impression they're trying to loot from the donation <laughs> bin. Oh, I really like it. I think I think a jacket would be the perfect thing. Yeah, exactly. Because obviously, like, if you throw someone's backpack in there, it's got their keys in their wallet yep. and stuff, like, you got to get that out. A jacket, you're mm. forcing them to go, well, maybe it was time. <laughs> maybe it was time for that jacket. <laughs> I really like it. Um, Ando, mm-hmm. again, this is a, this is an interesting power move because it, if you think about it, you've gone to more effort than is required. Yeah, but it still it still lands a blow on the target. Yep. Comes in from Jade. Mm-hmm. Um, when emailing somebody in a professional or semi professional context, okay. so yeah. I guess some <laughs> level of work, but you, yeah. I mean, you don't respect. Them. I can't really think of it as semi professional. <laughs> yeah. like I said, I mean, actually, probably all my professional emails are semi professional. Yep. I probably just never sent a professional email. <laughs> Anyway, type their name in, but use the strikeout font. Um, and then underneath, write to whom it may concern in normal writing. <laughs> it will make the person you're referring to feel like they're too unimportant for you to know their name. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. Like but it, it. Does, it, does, it does carry that thing going. Well, you've got, I'd read that and go, you've gone to effort. Yeah. Like you have gone, gone to effort to write my name and then deliberately it struck it out. It also gives the air of that, that you know that person's not going to be there much longer or something like that. Like, yep. uh, I yeah. don't buy that at all. Pass this on. Um, uh, this is from uh, Sam Conrickham. Lovely. Probably an arsehole, Paolo said. Yeah. Uh, he goes, only works when your mate is sending a really long message to a friend or girlfriend. Look over their shoulder, and when they're halfway through the message, just quickly click send. <laughs> <laughs> the reaction is priceless. He said. Good one, good one. Because there is always that great moment too when you accidentally do send a message halfway through. Mm. Do you either just go dot 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 and then That's finish good. the message? Oh gosh, right? I'm going to use that now. But but you also you also worry because if you see the three dots come up yeah. on your half sent message, you, sometimes you need to send a hang on. Yeah. There's more. <laughs> like, like I haven't finished just telling you what's 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 happening. So it You're is. Oh, it's, a great, water. it's a great panic inducer. Mm. Hey, here is one that comes in from Sam, and it's only for use in chess tournaments. <laughs> 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 so it's niche, it's niche, yeah. but with the Queen's Gambit booming, I know Jack, you're at, you know you're at like at level forty five now on online chess. You still chess every wants, day. If anyone wants to play me on chess dot com, my username is Greg Internet. Why Greg Internet? <laughs> the, the inventor of the internet. <laughs> what a power move! It was just I, I picked it at random uh, right. years ago for my Reddit, and I've so if anyone wants to contact me on Reddit, also Greg Internet. <laughs> <laughs> if you this wanted to play so me in chess, break into that. Okay. Perhaps you'd like to read one of um, Jack's chess threads. <laughs> and then if you like if you like what you read, maybe you play the legend himself, old G Internet. 
<laughs> so in chess tournaments, Jack, you probably wouldn't know this because this is more about face to face, like analog human chess, yeah, human to human. Played. Never played, probably never will. Um, but <laughs> after after the tournament, you have to write down every move you've played throughout the game. Mm-hmm. Again, Queen's Gambit fans would know this. You remember them all <laughs> writing down the move. This is where we just have to take Sam's word for it because now it gets technical and I okay. don't know if he's telling the truth. But you can also, um, there's an Easter egg apparently when you're writing down your moves in chess <laughs> and you can write in the chess notation world, you can write a question mark to notate a move as a mistake. Even more forceful than that, a question mark and a exclamation mark means your opponent played a weak move. Oh. Right, so yeah, because so, so naturally, putting a question mark and an, and an exclamation mark next to all of your opponent's moves <laughs> creates a devastating power move. <laughs> devastating, devastating. So you just every second move, i.e., all your opponent's moves, are just listed as critically weak moves. <laughs> Devastating, really like and we and we thought. I honestly it's thought after Queen's, it was, it was a huge run up, and I honestly thought after Queen's Gambit, they've wrung everything out of chess. Now there no. there won't be a Queen's Gambit too. We've sort of we've seen all the drama you can see in chess. No, and here we out. go. The door's yeah. wide open yeah. for a Queen's Gambit too. The with this sort of stuff out there, having heard this and now busily writing <laughs> <laughs> Queen's Gambit two exclamation mark <laughs> question mark uh, from Flynn Parker. Ahoy to you, Flynn. If your partner, friend, or any work colleague asks you for a tissue, instead of handing it to them, walk up to them, hold it firmly against their nose, and say, blow. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, it's time for... They keep coming in. Power moves, these uh, little things, devices you can use in your life, social life, business life, to give you the upper hand on any other individual. Life is, what is what is living in a society if it is not a dance, a, a <laughs> cultural dance of status and mm. finding out where you belong? And these power moves, yeah. often through the use of assholery, yeah. <laughs> boost you or can boost you or can take others down to a place that's yeah. where you think they should, they more readily belong. I think that's probably more, more often or not, it's rather than boosting you. It's a it's, check. It's, it's a level it's, checker. It's lowering the status of others, yes. which is kind of like what we like doing in our band. Yeah. None of us like practicing, but well, we do got... like pointing out flaws from the other person. <laughs> 10,000 hours of practice or 10 seconds of sniping. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot easier to snipe. I'll kick us off. Jonah Ham uh, wrote this in. Power mood for you uh, at all office uh, situations. Wait till your target coworker is in the middle of an intense or important meeting. Interrupt the meeting and say, Your mum is downstairs with your lunch. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, this, this comes in from uh, Benjamin. Great one. He said, my partner had a high school teacher that used this power move to great effect. They would walk through the busy hallways at school shouting, hot coffee, hot coffee, hot coffee, whilst holding an empty mug. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted people to get out of his way. <laughs> really like it. Be a good one at the footy as oh, well, yeah. that. Hot, any... hot, 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 hot. Sorry, hot coffee. Hot, yeah, hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Um, lovely. Tim Bonza. Power move. When saying goodbye to someone, end with, and good luck for tomorrow. Well, have them thinking they've forgotten <laughs> something very important in their life that's happening tomorrow. <laughs> Gee, I like that. Yeah. I think I'm going to use that. <laughs> it's just a great, it really just wrong foot someone. <laughs> to go. What do I got tomorrow? Like a maths exam tomorrow? Um, This comes in from George. Power move submission, possibly in the dick move category, but Mm. powerful nonetheless. Yes. This is from a friend of mine, nicknamed Tight Lips. (laughs) Doesn't go into why. When he picks up his girlfriend after she's had a long, hard day at work, he will strategically go barefoot. When they need to go to the shops for food on the way home, his partner is forced to do the shopping while he gets to chill in the car as our town has a shoes are compulsory in the shop's rule. I love that. Well, then you know it. 
That is Got the old bare right. feet again. Oh, sorry, I wish I had my shoes. <laughs> Sensational. Gee, they've been this good today. Good. This is good. Power move from the pod, uh, for the podcast this is from Jason Tambling. Whenever your friend tells a story that is somewhat impressive about themselves to someone else, at the end say, he's lying, that happened to one of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of these work, and I back this, a lot of these work on the fact <laughs> You know, like when, when someone's like, well, we just sue this person. And they're like, but they haven't done anything. We just tie him up in court. We yep. just tie him up in court. <laughs> exactly. When you go, when someone finishes a great story, you go, he's lying. It happened to one of his friends. Even if they go, no, no it, it didn't. didn't. It happened to me. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> We've tied you up in an argument. You've been slandered. <laughs> and it's all... already the front page of the Daily Telegraph. <laughs> 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 People <laughs> <remember. laughs> This is a good Ando. Great. Especially, you know, for the last couple of years, we've all been watching a lot of TV. <laughs> Power move. When someone asks you if you're watching any good shows at the moment, tell them about a very boring, slow show, but tell them it gets really good and just stick with it. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, they've been flooding in. There's a second book apparently going to arrive by the end of this year, but we'll see. We At the moment, <laughs> the second book is a dark shadow yep. coming through the shallows of the water. Mm. We think we can identify it. We think we know what species it is. It looks like a book, mm. but we just need it to come a little closer to the surface before we can absolutely say that it's here. Um, quite poignant. It's because we're going with a black cover. So it is a dark shadow. <laughs> it is. It's why I, exactly why I did Let's that. Let's jump into some more. <laughs> Can we kick us off? Go for it. From Justin Mitchell, ahoy to you, mate. If someone asks you to do something that you don't want to do, yep. for instance, help them move house, oh, yeah. simply reply with, sorry, mate, my coach wants me to rest this week. <laughs> good. <laughs> That's good. Just yeah. implies you're at a level that there's a professional telling you, sorry, yeah, don't, can't be done. Don't. And it's so much better to say coach than trainer. Yeah. Trainer seems indulgent. Yep. Personal, because you have personal, personal trainer. It's like no one cares. Like, yeah. You're just doing it for you, coach. Okay, team's you, depending on you. You're right. It seems like you assign a trainer, but someone else assigns you a coach. Yeah, if I just said, "Oh, my personal trainer said I can't lift stuff," you'd be like, "Oh, mate, what a snowflake!" <laughs> like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, like, that's yeah. just between you and him. You're like, coach has got me on a pretty yeah, tight leash, rest not. wise at the moment. <laughs> like, well, you know what I was at the coach. <laughs> and uh, mm. this is optimistic. Um, we're going to go with it anyway. I, it's one of those ones you're like, geez, it can be done. This is from Jeremy. 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 Yep. When you've got some sort of lower body muscles slash joint soreness or pain. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, po- possibly, possibly emergency slide party cause. Yes. So you've got two broken ankles, <laughs> you're dragging yourself into the doctor's. <laughs> Now, you're probably coming in at this stage, you're probably coming in for the six-week checkup. Yep. So, like, how are the pins setting? <laughs> <laughs> After and, you've you know, snapped your ankles. Yes, the... like, can you get a little bit of flexion back in your ankle now? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a long road, but, you, you know, you'll 18 it. months will fly by and you'll be back out there. When the doctor calls you into his or her office, greet them and then slowly walk towards the patient chair. When the doctor turns to close the door, quickly dip over and sit in the doctor chair. <laughs> 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 when their back's turned. If the doctor asks you to move, mm. just tell them you're too sore from the injury. <laughs> Best case scenario, the doctor will awkwardly proceed to sit in the patient chair. <laughs> I like it. Optimistic. Tough to do Tough. With, with, with bad ankles. I mean, Especially you, need to nimble, you, want, you want to be nimble. But. <laughs> if you explode off one foot and you snap it again, I suppose that's the risk you run. <laughs> Worth it. Uh, this is from Ben Ham. Ahoy to Ben. Power move for you. It requires a group chat setting. Right. WhatsApp is listed, also Snapchat, where the victim is writing a long message. While everyone's waiting, you often often see, you know, Duncan Campbell is yeah, typing. Yeah. Yep. Right. That's when you quickly write, yes, Duncan, you may speak now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very good. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, from Ian Yowie Anderson. Yep. Ahoy, Ian. Yowie. Um, when you're in a group and your mate comes up with something funny, laugh, then ask them, which TV show are you quoting? 
Say no more. I like this one. Yeah, this is from um, Tom. Uh, very specific to his situation, but for share housing out there, we it could it. work. Because I've just been power moved, <laughs> and you can tell by the way he's written it that he's perplexed. Yep. As my housemate just said, could he borrow the clothes rack, uh, the clothes drying rack from my room? I said, yes, I've come back and he's hung up all his clothes in my room. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we can announce with confidence today that there's going to be another Power Moves book by the end of the year. Yes, we can. <laughs> Which is... We can. We have, were worried about it. Mm-hmm. Um, we've double-checked with Hogs. Um, Which isn't... He I know to check whether his nephew is available to check the, to I, check the I, checker. I know double-checking with Hogs is historically about <laughs> five checks too low, but we are confident. We're going to pull, pull yep. Go, we which are is not- one of the more exciting levers on the bookmaking <laughs> machine. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the go lever. Yes. Go, go, go. Um, and But stand by for details of when they'll become available to purchase or pre-order online. We're not going to get into the same situation no. as having too long a run-up. What we did last time was, yeah, we said you can pre-order it and we're very clear mm. that this still means it could be two or three months away, mm. but that message seemed to dissolve away yeah. and instead in its place bubbled up. <laughs> Frustration at where's my book? But actually, for people that thought they'd ordered it and it was still taking three months to get there, yeah. the frustration level was very low. low. It was kind of just <laughs> yeah. like mild. Oh, it shouldn't it have been here by now. Yeah. What well, we will do the pre-order much closer to when the book's available. And it's more powerful, isn't it, than the last? I would it say. is more powerful. So that's why there's just a few extra checks and balances, <laughs> and there might have to be slightly mm. thicker packaging mm. around the book to contain it. They keep rolling in, though. These ones won't be in the book because we've have uh, agreed on the next hundred for been capped for volume two. But uh, we should jump into it. I want to start with one that I would like us to check whether we think it deserves the power guitar chord or not. Great. From Albert Brooks. Hmm. Message a short person at a time, say around 8 p.m. Message them. Yeah. Okay. Saying, good night. <laughs> when they respond saying, I'm going to bed, it's too early, respond with, sorry, just thought you'd go to bed for an early night to get maximum growth. <laughs> <laughs> it's more I don't, of a burn, is I don't it? think it's a power move, is it? No. I mean, if someone texts me good night, if you send me a text at good night at 8 o'clock, yeah. I don't think I'd like rush to go, but I'm not going to <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I'd prove go. that I'm staying night, up, mate. Staying up to watch <laughs> two episodes of anything I want. Yeah. 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 Uh, so we're not. It's a good burn. I mean, it's a funny burn. Mm-hmm. Um, but. No, no, okay. That's fine. I, That's just, fine. I just wanted to double check it, Albert. Uh, better luck next time. Ando, mm. this is from KL. When pulling into a garage with someone else in the car and you're the passenger, hop out as fast as possible, play, press the closed garage door button and yell, Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> the other person must now scramble to get out of the garage before the door closes or else they're trapped in the Temple of Doom forever. <laughs> Works best when the other party is wearing a fedora. <laughs> <laughs> Like it. Love. We love the specificity of a yep. lot of the moves and especially as in like as an as a footnote. Mm. Yeah, it works best when someone's wearing a fedora. This one's specific as well from Georgia. Hey fellas, power move for a younger crowd. Nice. So looking at our younger demographic here. If you happen to find yourself playing a game of truth or dare, mm-hmm. and quite some, a popular youthful game yes. these days. <laughs> if someone chooses dare. Dare them to go home. <laughs> I didn't see the joke. It happened to me all the time when I was growing up. Um, okay, guys, mm. from uh, Lachlan Trip. This is a power move for people that when you're watching AFL, watching, uh, watching the footy with your mates, and your mate says something that you disagree with about the game. Um. What you respond with is, nah, they've been paying that all year. Ah, yes. It implies the other person does not know about enough about the <laughs> yeah. game to have a different opinion and should have kept their mouth I shut. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one's from Josh. Yep. 
So this is reclaiming power in a profession where power is not generally assumed, which I know is stereotyping, but he's talking about Garbo's. Okay, yep. So, oh, I mean, yeah, you, uh, there would be a lot of good Garbo power moves. My Garbo has done this to me in the past, yep. and I have to go hats off to them. Um, he's since stopped doing it. but Put the bin on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> my garbage man, woman, each week will place my bin right in the middle of my driveway <laughs> every yeah. time, yep. rendering me powerless to either enter the driveway when coming home or get out. When I uh, need to, it's a great power move. It's a great power move. Hey, on the Garbo thing, have we talked about this before? The correct way to put the bin to the curb. Everybody puts, you know, the bin facing out, right? So handle on footpath side, bin facing out. But then you see the Garbos grab it and they have to like wheel it around and do a 180. It should be handle out. Shouldn't it be handle out for the Garbos to grab it easier? Great question. And I, I do put it handle out mm. occasionally, and you get strange looks from people because they don't like <laughs> exactly. that it, it messes up the aesthetic of the street. Mm. But te- I think for the Garbo, they would prefer it handle out. But what about the electric arm? Don't you get the electric arm that picks it up and then shoves it in the back? Oh. Sorry, Jack, not everyone lives in a <laughs> suburb rich enough <laughs> to hire a transformer. You get the electric arm. Oh, wow, must be nice. Silicon Valley no, over there. My donkey <laughs> and the stand and the donkey come along. They prefer oh, oh, the manual a, grab. I'm in a cul-de-sac. No way that you could fit an electric arm down uh, my street. Yeah. Um, but I've be been nice in your street. Op- you, could, you could fit an electric arm down your street. Yeah. Must be very nice to have Optimus have to Prime work for your but- council. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I back. would say... The electric arm would have to work both ways, Jack. Yeah, it can't. It, it can't. It doesn't just... care. The electric arm just grabs the side of the bin. It doesn't care what. By the time it's tipping in, it's over the back it, of it. It, it takes. It, it puts that's, the bin completely upside yeah. down, so the lid just sits. Sits kind of. I suppose. The vertical. one thing they don't want you to do with the electric arm is gaffer tape the lid of your bin shut. Yeah, they hate that. <laughs> they don't like that. Yeah. As long as you don't do that. And a great power move to finish on here mm-hmm. comes from Jordan. When it's someone's birthday, wrap your mate's birthday present in very thick paper, one that is hardy and difficult to rip. Once you've wrapped it, make sure you tape up all the joints and folds, giving them no areas to get their fingers <laughs> under. <laughs> Once slightly frustrated that they can't open the present, make sure you walk up and add a phrase such, phrase such as, struggling a bit there, are you, mate? <laughs> Pretty good. The cocoon. Hey, our Power Moves book, book oh. volume two, even more, now even more powerful, which isn't written on it. <laughs> bonus recipe. I might put a bonus. You can either have the roast potato edition or the peanut butter milkshake edition. We will get swamped with thanks, I reckon, from that. Um, swamped. swamped. Um, we will be, unfortunately, we can't include that in this round because it's already at the printer's. Mm. Hog spoke to him this week. We you're with a group of mates and you're talking about peanut butter recipes. <laughs> Impress them all with, by explaining emulsification to them. <laughs> we should um, get Hogs up next week, head of distribution. Yep. He wants us to put the pre-orders out now. I said, no, you can't be trusted <laughs> with your delivery. We know last time that there was pre-orders that waited a long, long time to get their book. There we was. thought that was fun anticipation. Yeah. People didn't? No. They we thought it. people would just like to know they were in. Yes. And it didn't matter when it came. Mm. But, but um, uh, it turns out, yeah, it is more like ordering a pizza. Yeah. Once you it's order. It's fun to know you've got one on the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd like to see it soon. <laughs> yeah. So we'll talk to him next week about the appropriate time of when he thinks it will land, when he can get it out, and when we can put that up at yeah. hamishdanny.com. But speaking of power moves, Ham, we should just get into it to kick off the show, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm happy to kick us off if you like. Kick us off. This is from Flynn Berry. Power move. If you ever are joining a group of friends on a bench seat, okay. and they're already <laughs> sitting on the bench seat, ask someone to move up, up uh, and then proceed not to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> they have no choice but to sit there a little compact of looking at you. I like it. I like it. And I... Mm-hmm. Power move. When playing sport with your mate and he messes up, yell out, just get back to basics like I taught you. <laughs> works at, works an absolute treat during tennis. <laughs> that would be good. That's a good 
University based power move here it comes yep. from Peter in Wales. Oh, lovely. He said, I accidentally performed this one, but turned out it was a real cracker. It was during he was studying his master's degree in engineering. Um, and in lectures, they usually get to uh, have to wait to the end to ask questions. Oh. He said, if the prof- professor seems a bit cocky and highbrow, wait to the end of the lecture and then put your hand up and ask, is this the first time you've taught this class? <laughs> 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 Fantastic stuff. Pretty good one. Uh, um, Ando. Uh, sorry, I should mention my previous one came from Rob. I think it's the first time I've ever not named Jack. So it's like Rob would have been really annoyed that he got one on the show and didn't get a name check. This is from Lucas. Mm-hmm. Um, boys, in a group chat, so like on a WhatsApp or whatever, say that you found an amazing video or website of a subject that everybody's really interested in, mm-hmm. right? When someone asks for you to share it, Take a photo of the link on your computer screen and send the photo. <laughs> the longer and the most more complicated, the better. If you've sold it as the best link ever, they'll be forced to type the link in manually. <laughs> Boom. Hey, exciting announcement today. In fact, we're getting a guest on to help announce it. Uh, Hogs. Man of ideas, but also chief distribution officer for, for all of Hamish, all Hamish and his merchandise. <laughs> yeah. uh, ahoy to you, mate. Hey, boys. How's it going? Very good, good Hogo. Well, um, better than you at the moment. Can we, just, can we just tap into your last two weeks? Because I've had a bit of a giggle with you. You've had to cancel a few plans uh, for catching up. Why is that big, Hogs? Oh, we had, a, uh, we had a COVID case in the, in the warehouse. Mm-hmm. Not good. So I uh, have got on the tools. I've been picking books for two weeks. So you've been back on the forklift out there. Yeah. What kind of hours are you doing, mate? Oh, mate, I'm 14 hours a day. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I haven't seen you drive a forklift for a very long time, Hogs. The last time I saw you drive a forklift, it was you sending us videos of you doing trick forklift stuff like fast, fast parallel parks and things like that. <laughs> Um, are you, have you got time to have any fun on the forklift or is it just flat out? Oh, plenty of time, plenty of fun on there, obviously. But, um, <laughs> no, Orgs, you're the it's, boss it's now. Long. You own the place. Yeah, you're not meant your to company. tell people to have fun on the forklift. It's high vis, very, it's a hard yeah. hat, it's it follow. It's a serious machine. <laughs> the, the pallets go seven high now. So if you if you knock the, ra- the racking over, mm. it's like a domino effect. You just don't want to do it. But, but um, Hang on, have you done that? No. Has anyone done it in your factory? No. Oh, you, you'd basically kill everyone in the factory. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so that's, it's, a, it's a bit of a no-no. Yeah. <laughs> As, I um, mean, to use your exact phrase from before, you don't want to do it. <laughs> you don't want to kill everyone in the factory. Have, okay, a, have a look online. There's a few YouTube ones where people of the forklift drivers run into a racking and, um, oh. Shouldn't the racking be more really secure? Bad. Yeah, but it's you can't guarantee anything, can you? <laughs> like there's, there's, broad, there's, broad disclaimer. <laughs> there are, but when, there are when, safety when, guards when, around the, the end of them, but if you go hard enough. Okay, okay. You'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Hogs, this is all this is happening at the warehouse on a day that you want to announce something with regards to Power Moves Book Volume 2. Are you sure you're capable? When do you get your staff back? Because we know there's going to be a huge rush yeah. for the volume two for Power Moves book. The first one sold out. Yeah, and it was also there was a flood, you know, early days with the first one too. And we, you know, we've been through this before. There was the the mistimed pre-order <laughs> um, of us mistakenly thinking that six months out people would enjoy pre-ordering it, and mm. that just sort of came across as it was already available. And we just don't want to. We don't want any. You know, we want it to be a frictionless system. Yeah. No. Well, full staff's back tomorrow. Oh, so, Orgs is off the forklift yes. as of tomorrow. Oh, good. So, everything's going to be up to date. the 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 printer has announced today that they've they've um they've finished printing. All right, and and do they and we don't know how many. Oh, do they know? Remember we said that last time where they just turn the machine on, and yeah. it just prints as many books. And when they get roughly 
to, it's like filling up with petrol. You get yeah. roughly to the fifty dollar mark. You don't care if it, it spills it's, over. It, it's like they're doing a just the guessing amount of jelly beans in a jar. They they, <laughs> yeah. they don't know how many it's going to spit out. Yeah. So do you know how many they've printed? Um, no, not as yet. We've put the order in. Could be a few thousand more, a few thousand less. So but that's the part that I just perplexed. Unbelievable. Perplexing. And these are the best in the business, are they? Oh, best in the business. But you, can, you can't, you can't just then just stop like. And I'll, maybe they just they just do a, a day's shift, so they get. No, to I the know, point but it just it, it is just. A, I mean, you, we're acting like it's it's um, completely inappropriate for a customer to ask for an exact quantity. Yeah, like yeah. at the bakery, when you go half a dozen poppy seed knot rolls, yeah, and they can. go, "Oh, mate, well, I'm obviously not going to be land. I'm not going to land a number perfect. I mean, I'll just start my tongs going, and when I feel I've done enough, I'll hand the bag over. You could get eleven, could get three. How could I possibly stop it at six? <laughs> so, okay, anyway. so we'll f- hopefully they're not short of. <laughs> this is amazing. This and you don't, we don't find out alien until, concept. when do we find out, like when they, when they come in, or eventually when they're shipped, or do they do some kind of stock take off the back of the printer coming out of their warehouse? They basically let us, they'll put it on the ship and then let us know how many they're shipping. Right, so someone at the shipping dock is doing the counting, and that's <laughs> hire that guy to go and work at the factory if he knows how to count. <laughs> okay, so they've made an announcement, which I like the idea that they've stopped the whole factory and made an announcement that the printing's finished, <laughs> and, uh, and then the guessing game begins. <laughs> <laughs> and, Who knows how many we did. And so when, like, obviously shipping has been tough during this pandemic time. It's getting better. When can we expect them to arrive in Australia? Well, we've booked a, sh- we've booked a ship, which is good. Yes. Have, I didn't forget to do that. <laughs> um, and it's going to arrive late November. Have you forgotten to book a ship before? <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes you – well, yeah, you've got to <laughs> – so many parts, aren't there, Hogs? I don't envy it. Yeah. I mean, so many moving parts. It's like, yeah. it, you know, it's as if, like, if Uber Eats didn't, wasn't invented, like, you've got to call the restaurant, put your order in, then call the kitchen at the restaurant and go, did you get the order? Are you cooking it? How many are you yeah. cooking? Not saying. Are we just cooking a bunch of curry? And when it's, we'll just start filling up packets. Okay, we'll keep doing that. I'm going to book the guy to come and get it. <laughs> okay. So, Hogs, yeah. late November. Remember? Yeah. Have you booked someone to take the sh- the books when the ship gets in <laughs> yes. from the ship to the warehouse? Oh, that's basically just automatic. I just okay. So they'll that's, do that that's, for that's you. That's part of booking the ship. Okay. Oh, wow. Full is service. It, <laughs> ship it, and truck. Is it a tick box? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're booking a ship. Would you also like to book a truck? <laughs> And how many units do you have on board? <laughs> Tick here for books. We know you can never know the amount of books. All other items you must have a specific number. <laughs> All right. So late November. Late November. Triumph. Well done. So, that is this is great. What so we really do you appreciate think, yep. is if we get the orders in early enough, mm-hmm. then we can print out all the labels. Mm-hmm. First of December, we're just going to just be slapping labels on all these books, mm. and um, obviously in the, uh, the beautiful packaging again. Yeah, of the, course. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's really, as as we say, it's really two things for the price of one. Yep. Cor- yeah. Corrugate um, <laughs> a tube. Corrugated sleeve. Yeah. So I can my what I'm doing. I'm I've got I'm aiming for December one releasing out of the warehouse. Mm-hmm. So therefore, you've got. Australia Post's got 24 days to get it, to get get it, it under the Christmas there. tree. Yep. I they're, think that's a great high. plan, Hawk. So what are you saying? Are you requesting that we launch pre-sales or something maybe the last week of November so that by December 1 you can, you've can you got all those stickers and you've just got slap oh. and send? No, I think we've got to go now. Right. We'll go now for pre-sales. I think we, we release now. Let's... People, right. people order now, and then we put in the system. Yep. Right now, turn the system on. I'm looking across at Jezza, our web guy. He's giving us a thumbs up that we they're all ready to go. They, they knew this day was coming. So people listening to this right now will be it's able on. to go and pre-order. Power Moves Volume 2. Volume 2. The, the even more powerful edition. Mm. 
Um, it is a cracker. We've loved doing this one. We've had it's a lot of laughs. It is better. We've had a lot of laughs putting this together. <laughs> um, so hang on. So Hogs, there's nothing. So smooth sailing from here. Did you say that the books are on the boat yet, or they're ready to go to the boat? No, they're binding it now. So they've printed it. <sighs> yep. So now they're binding it. And give everyone It'll a little. Give them a little sell about the binding because it is good oh, binding. It's great binding. Oh, it's top of the range. Well, there's two options with binding. Mm-hmm. You can just do your your glue binding, or you can put a little bit of ribbon over the top, mm-hmm. just for a bit of extra price, obviously, but mm-hmm. no expense spared. Mm-hmm. We've got a little blue and white ribbon, don't we? We do. Nice. Yeah, you can go. You can go slops, or you can do it right, and we've decided yeah. to do it right. We uh, wouldn't ship slops. Uh, spot UV on the cover again, I'd imagine. Spot UV. Matt laminate. Um, <laughs> Matt lamination. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. The most yeah. expensive cover you can. How get many GSM per page? I think it was. I think it was around the one fifty six mark. Wow. wow, that's a lot. That's a heavy page. It's <laughs> a heft. It's a heavy okay. page. Yeah. Oh, so okay. sixteen plus kids well, can read four. the book, but have an adult nearby yeah. to turn the pages. <laughs> <laughs> Reinforce all the way through. Full color. Reinforce full color. your coffee tables. Thank you very much, <laughs> Al Hawks. We'll chat to you soon, buddy. Well, good luck to the boat. Do we need to talk about price, or we just is it the same price? Well, I assume so. What? I think it's the same price. Well, you looking to? I mean, it's been a tough year, and everyone you looking to inflate it. <laughs> well, no. Oh, what was it? I think it was, was it 34. <laughs> yeah. No, it was 33 for the original. And then and then we're also, we've got, we've reprinted some. some uh, oh, more some, of the dishonorable second runs. So people can yeah. still get, can get Power Moves book one as well. Yes. So okay. there's, there's two options on the Well, they're 34 be the bucks because they were dishonorable for not getting in. And I think the original was the 33, which will stick this, with yeah. the current the current honorable price of 33 for the second edition. Yeah. And there'll be no insurance with it. <laughs> not required for books, was required for T-shirts. Yeah, the or... customer service insurance was just for the T-shirts. <laughs> See you, buddy. All right, boys. On you, mate. I'm selling very well. Power Moves Book Volume 2. Hmm. The original, or oh, dishonorable second run of the original is available at hamishnetty.com. But more great Power Moves keep coming in. So who knows? In future years, there may be a third edition. If we get yeah, but, I mean, I'm just looking at my list today. I think there has to be. <laughs> <laughs> or at thought. least. At least a long pamphlet. Yeah. <laughs> like if we don't have enough for a book, yeah. the world's biggest pamphlet. pamphlet. Still at 140 um, GSM, 156 the, GSM paper. The world's longest, best quality <laughs> pamphlet. And uh, I mean, my we often talk that the power moves can fall into the legend or asshole category. Yes. And certainly the latter category is by far the Popular. biggest. Mm. These, the, what I've got today are harsh. I'll preface this by saying <laughs> okay. they were just all kind of just there seems to have been a theme this week as I'm, we're looking through the emails and I went, you know what? Why we just lean into it. Yep. I preface these by going they're harsh, but you can't deny the power. Great. Um, look, the first comes from James. It's 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 short. He 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 acknowledges it's harsh, <laughs> but this is it. If you see someone crying, lean in and ask, is it because of your haircut? <laughs> It's a dick move, but it is powerful nonetheless. <laughs> I love it. That's brilliant. <laughs> this one comes in from Nathan Ham. If you're at a party or gathering that has a fire pit, Giant. and everyone is gathered around that, right before you leave, put every bit of wood you can find <laughs> safely on the fire pit and immediately leave. <laughs> it, it makes the remaining guests way too hot. <laughs> and... And they also can't leave until it's burnt right down. <laughs> it's kind of the outdoor version of just turning the thermostat up on your way out of a party, isn't it? Just putting the heating on 35. Um, and, uh, okay, this comes in from Dane. Yep. Hey, guys, when you meet a celebrity, after your interaction, walk away and say, I guess that's why they say never meet your heroes. <laughs> Leaves them wondering what they could have done better. <laughs> really like it. From Zane, power move, colon. When leaving your friend's house, ask politely if you can use their bathroom before you go. They'll be assuming that you need to use the toilet. Instead, take a shower. <laughs> 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 good. 
This comes in from Nick. Uh, when you and your mates dress up for a Halloween party mm. and one of your mates dresses up for, say, example, as Superman, go up to him and say, I see you've gone with virgin Superman this year. <laughs> This leaves the victim embarrassed and feeling like a virgin for the rest of the night. Works with any costume. <laughs> oh, cool. Virgin zombie. <laughs> oh, so good. Got a very, very important day today, Ham. I've handed Jack a very important piece of music that I think sums up the day. The fanfare of the common man. <laughs> yes. Because the song we look forward to playing live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we sent many by boat. We sent one by plane. The Power Move book, Volume yeah. 2, has arrived. Look at her. Look and at her. I, I have to put it down. It's that heavy. <laughs> Yeah, careful, Ando. I just saw your. I saw one of your um, forearm tendons snap. <laughs> the quality of paper is incredible. Um, it's obviously got a spot UV uh, front. You'll see that glowing, Jacko. I can see the shimmer. Yeah, but a matte Jack's, finish. Jack, Jack, yeah, Jack is so confused right now because his brain is trying to process it. It's like the blue dress, or gold dress. Yeah, it's exactly. where we're bracket. Jack's brain's going. How can something be so matte, yet also have a shame? <laughs> yes. That's the spot UV yep. finish, Jacko. Yep. I took it out of its uh, purpose-built bespoke corrugate uh, cardboard uh, tube casing yep. that it comes in that you can keep and reuse. Mm-hmm. That's yours. That's part of the deal. That's yours to keep. Um, <laughs> it makes a great gift by itself. Perhaps you'd like to buy the Power Moves Volume 2 book for yourself for Christmas mm. and give... The container to a close <laughs> relative if you've drawn them in Chris King Kringle and, and explain to them how good quality the container is, yeah. the cor- the corrugate tube yeah. if you, container. If you if you can't read, still worth buying. You'll be able to now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> still worth buying. <laughs> I just didn't know how hard we were going to go. We were going on the exaggerations. <laughs> you um, can't read. Swear to God, pick this thing up. <laughs> Something happens to you, yeah. and you'll be able to read. I'm going to say, still I'd worth. love to get. I'd love to get people emailing in testimonials of that they thought they couldn't read, and they picked the book up, and it helped That'd be them nice. read. That'd be good for some kind of advertising. Um, the other thing, Ham, is if you can't read, just for the touch and feel of the paper. Alone. You would buy it as a tactile piece. <laughs> You would. Um, a lot of people are writing. For the, hap- for the haptic experience of holding something with that much heft. Um, a lot of people were writing in uh, on emails asking whether Jack will be signing any this time round. And, uh, well, the answer is no. Mm. Because. Is um, it though? Well, it's not the big ask. Which no, no, but I just, I, I think, I, just I, I, no, 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 I've got, no, no, I've got a big no. ask of Jack because international borders are reopening very soon or okay. have reopened. I didn't so. think you would forg- have forgotten about that, but I thought there was a 1% chance that you had, so no. I'm sad to hear Are you annoyed? Oh, and Jack, all Andy talks about privately is the big ask. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I'm going to use it wisely. But there will be a signature page, or there is a signature page in the book. There is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, and we encourage people to uh, collect all signatures. Um, yep. There's a space for Hamish, uh, for myself, for Jack, and we've left the space for v- Beyonce. Uh, it reads in the book mm. that we'd encourage people to have their book on them at all times. Have it on you. Yeah. For example, if you see Beyonce in the cereal section at Woolworths mm. and you don't have your book on you, you'd be You'll kicking like yourself a goose. because she, you won't, she won't be able to sign it. Um, collect all the signatures like Pokemon. Collect them all. Yep. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Mike has told me, uh, obviously, Beyonce is the rarer signature to collect. So in the, the po- most evolutions, I'd say too, Jack. Yeah. So in Pokemon theme, she'd be Noibat, a uh, flying uh, dragon type from Kalos. I'll have to take your word for it. I only know the original 150. OG. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> um People can go to hamishoney.com to get the pre-order now. They'll be out. Jack. They'll be in, on Australian so, uh, uh, shores in about three weeks' time. Just looking at Boat Tracker very soon. <laughs> um, hey. um, uh, Jack, I've got a quick question for you. You yeah. famously attempted to sign a 1,000 books, probably got close to 700. I did a few. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> did an amazing effort. Okay. It, takes, it um, takes longer than you thought. When yep, you committed to 1,000. It yeah. takes a long yep. time. Yeah. Here's my question for you. I just think it would be a nice gesture 
for the people that uh, hope that didn't get one first time around because I know so many people wanted a Jack Post signed book. Mm. Yep. Um, and you've got to remember when Jack signed it, that's also personally signed off on by me and Andy. Yes. So we've all been involved in the process there. Yeah. Jack's doing the signing. We're doing the signing off on that. Yep. And I just think it would be a lovely gesture for you to give another 1,000 people a shot I think getting a Jack Post. I think it's time for, to share it around. I'd hate to hog all the signing glory. No, yeah, you, do you, you think Beyonce should do it? I think you guys should sign Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're already we're signing off we're on signing it. signing off on it. Yeah, but you can actually sign some. <laughs> no, we've signed off on it. That will be too much for us to do <laughs> otherwise yeah. if we're signing it I'll, as well. I'll sign off on you guys signing them. <laughs> We've already signed off on you. <laughs> Too many signatures flying around right, here. Snakes, snakes eat its own tail here. We just need to yeah, bring it back. We should point out, though, uh, this was signed off on by Hamish and I. The first person to collect signatures from Hamish, Andy, Jack, and Beyonce, and as hard proof that they are real signatures, you got yourself an eight-coin coin. Well yeah. done. Mm. <laughs> to that person. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, all right. I think I think some should be signed. I think it would be yeah. a nice gesture to do some signings. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy to sign a few because I have to go out to the warehouse. I said I'd help hogs. I'm more than happy to personally sign off on Jack doing some <laughs> as well. <laughs> so, what about signing some stickers, Jack, and we can just stick them in? I can, yeah, five hundred. I, I don't want to. I don't, I don't <laughs> want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. That's fair. That's really fair. Um, I can't fight the honesty. Okay, so uh, obviously, yeah, Hamishani dot com. Buy the book. Uh, Permanent book. You can absolutely get it. Yeah. That will not be signed by Jack because he has a very good reason. Yeah. I, don't, I don't. I don't want to this time. <laughs> He Maybe want next to. year. <laughs> Maybe now. He doesn't yeah. want to. Um, he chooses not to. Hey, one of the things that we ha- uh, feel bad about that we really have to tackle is we've bought out um, a hefty book. It's so heavy. Without consulting furniture makers across the country <laughs> yeah, and the world as to whether their coffee tables are strong enough to with, uh, withhold it. Do you know what um, we should do? Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's call a – I reckon we pick a – just to any furniture store around here. <laughs> yeah. Jack, have Call you got them. one? Got one in I'll the mix? One, yeah. yeah. Because I reckon what we want to sort of say to people is, A, uh, you know, we've got this on the way. Mm-hmm. This thing's coming. Re- so, reinforce and, and, your tables. Yeah, and just B, do you have the table that can handle it? Yeah. Coffee table. Do you have a coffee table that can handle it? And we'd encourage them to put a sticker on coffee tables <laughs> that they think can handle it. Yeah. Power moves ready. Yeah, yeah. Can handle Yeah, great. Okay, Jack. Here we you, go. Who, who are we calling? This is Early Settler Ballarat. Welcome to Early Settler, helping to make your house a home. Mm. Please select from one of our following menu options. Coffee tables. <laughs> to hear our trading hours, press 1. No. For our store right. location, press 2. No. To speak to one of our team members, oh. press 3. 3, Jack. Yes, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. I'll speak to the guy that was playing that. <laughs> Early Settler Ballarat, this is Lisa. Lisa. Lisa, how are you going? Um, my name's Hamish. Um, just got a quick question about coffee tables. Sure. Do you guys sell coffee tables? We certainly do. Okay. I am um, expecting a coffee table book soon mm. um, that's very heavy. Do you okay. have a particular model of coffee table you'd say is the best for weight bearing? Look, all of our coffee tables are fantastic. Yep. Is there a certain size you're after, a certain style? It's more about knowing that it can handle the book. Uh, I think so. Okay. So it's Andy here as well. Um, I expect inquiry. Yeah, that's really, this is more of a courtesy call, isn't it, really? <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> we're trying to be courteous, yeah. and we're also letting you know that you're going to get a lot of customers coming in that have, A, broken their old table, yes. and, B, want the strongest on the market mm. for the new table. Continue breaking coffee tables. That's what I say. i got a quick question for you, Lisa. Are a lot of your coffee tables the standard four-leg setup, one leg in each corner? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Do you sell a fifth leg you can insert <laughs> into the middle a screw to support? On yeah, to yeah. or even just a, a sort of a telescopic brace <laughs> that you'll put in the middle of the coffee table to support the weak spot in the middle of the coffee table. Oh, I could probably damage a coffee table and take the leg off it, and then we could use that as a support. 
I'm okay. just saying, yeah, that's not a bad idea. If you have spare legs, I reckon a good front I window could, I could display. I have a stack of spare legs out the back. And this just is what I reckon we do. That reason. <laughs> Let's go. I reckon a good front window display would be you buy a few copies of the book, which is Power Moves Volume 2, mm-hmm. put them in the front window so people go, oh, that's the book I've got that keeps crushing the table. Yeah. Then you have a bunch of spare legs in the window and you go, yes, we sell fifth legs for coffee tables <laughs> to reinforce the weak spot on your coffee table and you will sell extra legs. That's a, that's a brilliant idea. Will you will you do that? Will you... <laughs> 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 this is a courtesy call, but we don't want to have to follow. We don't have to follow it up with a verbal warning if we find out you haven't done oh, that, it. That's it. I don't want to get fired, <laughs> and I don't want to fire you. No. <laughs> Thank you for chatting to us, Lisa. We're going to check no back in. Yeah, we'll check back in sort of closer to Christmas to see if you've done the window display. Beautiful. I'll send your photo. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Fifth legs. Fifth, hey. Yeah, you guys selling the fifth legs? For, yeah, yeah. I've just got the book. I've got it on the floor at the moment. I daren't, <laughs> I daren't put it on the table till I get my fifth leg installed. And we've missed this opportunity, but next time if we do another one. We're selling it with the sell, legs. We're selling it with a brace. <laughs> sell it with spare legs. We know, we know the free gift with purchase we're doing for volume. Volume three, don't we? (laughs) Maybe then you'll sign one, Jack. Hey, uh, obviously last week we saw the Power Movers book in the flesh, which is exciting. Uh, This is volume two. Such such flesh too. I I, I think, well, it is. It's a meaty flesh, isn't it? It's hefty. It's a meaty book. You don't obviously, you don't often, and and for good reason, you don't often describe a book as meaty, Mm. but it is a meaty book. It's one of the meatier books that you can get. Um, Heading into Christmas, perfect Christmas gift. Don't buy it for a frail person though, I would say, because the pages of are so... Wrist Thick. strength, forearm strength. <laughs> These are the things you want to think about. Yeah, the grams per what is it? Grams per square inch. Yeah, is that yeah. the, <laughs> is some of the. I mean, it's 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 almost illegal calling it paper <laughs> because it really is thin cardboard yeah, every yeah. page. Feels like paper though. It flops beautifully. Jeez, doesn't it flop? <laughs> so I don't know what they've done to the molecules to make them so lubricated next to each other. Because you go, this should this should move mm. like a brick, but it yeah. it moves like uh, mercury. Yeah, it's so smooth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anyway, so really, I mean, find it's not, and, and we're, we're highlighting the physical properties of the book, but it's actually what's printed in there that's yeah, the so fun. Yeah, the content often better. The content, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, HamishNerdy.com, if, if you want to get your book, pre-order now. Hawks yep. tells us oh, that... it's there in momentarily. It's, it's going to be there in a week or so. But Isn't it on the water already? It might even be landed. In, yeah, no, it hasn't landed. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's in my day, but, but, <laughs> We were getting pray, excited about... Pray you know, for the calm seas because that's the only thing that can stop it at the moment. They do lose some days with rough seas. <laughs> it can happen. At the moment, the ship, I'm just looking at the ship. I'm on shiptracker.org yeah. yeah. and it should be pulling into the docks later today. No, it's however, not. However, however <laughs> I do see a storm that they might, they'll probably backtrack a little bit to go around that storm. So we pray for calm weather. Order now if you want them before Christmas. Uh, they are going what fast. What a present too. What a present too. Mm. And if you're one of those people that's like, oh, I, you know, I meant to get the book. Do you have any books left? Whatever last time mm. around. Don't be that person this time around. Yeah. For volume two of Power Moves. Hey, before we do Power Moves today, mm. I've got something that I think is the first time this has ever happened. It's in the category of Power Moves. Okay. But it's the inverse, okay? Oh. It's, a, it's where I accidentally gave someone an enormous amount of power. Right. Okay, so it's almost like a power slip. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, or like yeah, a power yeah. surrender. Yeah, yeah. I, I, and, and so this isn't like, this is just to be clear, this isn't when someone does a power move on you. No. Like that's just, they happen and, and you're often caught unawares and you're on the ropes and you yeah. that's bad luck because you just weren't ready for a great power move. That's the whole point of the book. Mm. There's a hundred in there if you want to do them to people. This is where this guy didn't do anything mm. and I... Gave him all the power, <laughs> wrapped up in a friggin' bow, yeah. and just so, and he almost didn't know what to do with it. And did you do it accidentally? I did. 
I well, that's, that's important went. because obviously if he walked up to you was, and you yes, bowed. I'm, yes, I'm <laughs> just going up to him and going, my Lord, I'm your servant and I'll do your bidding. Give me three names and I shall kill them for the many-faced God. And that would be a lot of power to give someone at Coles or wherever you, wherever you chose to do it. Just the supermarket. Yeah, so I, this that was, wasn't, that's important. So it's an accent. So it's a slip. It's a power slip. It's the same. Mm. It's kind of like, you know, like um, status-wise, mm. it's the same as if, you were fumbling to get your bus fare out or something. A mm. hundred dollar note flew out of your wallet. You had in there from emergencies that your mum gave you. Mm-hmm. Caught, got caught in the wind and just landed in someone else's pocket. Yeah, it must, <laughs> must be real. <laughs> it's mum's fault, really. <laughs> I keep telling her. No, I am actually wearing the Lost Touch T-shirt today, so I can tell stories like this. But if the hundred dollar note got caught in the breeze, mm. like the feather at the start of Forrest Gump, yeah. and then just landed, boom, in someone's pocket, yeah. you, you know, and then. You couldn't say anything about it because it's too improbable (laughs) and they've got your $100. This is what happened to this guy. I gave him all this power and he didn't really know what to do with it. Okay, what happened? It was was on this, we're shooting Lego Masters at the moment Mm -hmm. and it was on the set, right? And one of the guys, one of the guys in audio just needed to check something, right? This happens when you got a microphone on there. Like you basically just, you just put your hands up and you're under arrest. It's like you're being frisked. It's only being frisked and it happens all day long, so you just allow them to do what they got to do. And then you wear the mic pack on your ankle and stuff and they're like fiddling around with stuff. He was feeling like it, it was taking a bit long. I could tell that he was getting nervous because he was making a few fumbles and stuff yep. like that. So I should have had all the power. Hmm. Uh, really, in that stage, I should have been grinning. Going, and they, and they stopped shooting to adjust the mic as well, so there's the pressure. I'm out the back, I'm out there. Not a huge amount of pressure, but I am needed on the floor mm-hmm. sooner rather than later. He's on his knees, but mind you, hands and knees. Yep. So you a passerby in this situation be like, standing man has yeah. all the power. Exactly. Like, this, this guy's, guy's shining his shoes or something. <laughs> I know people will be listening going, how does how does it flip from here? Yeah. His name's Dave, right? Finally he he sorts he figures it out. He and I can tell he's a bit flustered. So to make him feel better, he's like, I'm so sorry. So like all good now. Sorry about that. Sorry. I go to say I went to say thanks, Dave. Mm. I also, in an act of kindness, mm. um, and to show that I am in touch with the common man, I'm on his level, don't worry, mate, we're all just doing our job here, you mm. don't have to be too worried. I also went at the same time to say thanks, dude. Right. And unfortunately, the words confl- got collapsed together and got conflated together, mm. and I said thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say thanks, Dad. <laughs> no, that would have been better than I would have had the power. <laughs> but when he stood up and looked at me, I said, thanks, Dad. <laughs> and he's about, he's like about 21. <laughs> and it just washed over, like over his face, this flicker happened. And he was like, like you're a toddler. I'm this guy's dad. <laughs> <laughs> You've just done up your shoelace as a toddler. And you're saying, thanks, thanks, Dad. Now I can go and play. Thanks, Dad. I couldn't do that myself. <laughs> And I was just like, what have I done? What have I done here? He's just got it all. He's got it. He's my dad. This 21-year-old's my dad. We don't have a sound effect for power slips. We don't have a power slip. I don't, know if we'll, I don't know if we'll ever see one again. <laughs> no, but let's jump into power moves. This is an interesting one I want to kick it off with because I think it works. Uh, it's from David. He said he heard the podcast uh, today in a short person power move, which he felt didn't quite hit the mark. You're right. Here's an alternate. He said, when you're walking the streets and it starts rain- raining, look around at the shortest person in your group and say, just want to let you know it has started raining. <laughs> <laughs> Send me a message down to the surface <laughs> <laughs> from those of us in orbit. <laughs> uh, really good. Mm. Ando, uh, this is a big power move, um, and you'll, you'll see why. It comes in from Mrs. Earl Squirrelson, so obviously yes. name withheld. <laughs> uh, she said, look, my partner is a primary school teacher in a Catholic school, mm-hmm. and the other day during the morning prayer session, he witnessed a power move between two students. So a little bit of a learning for me here. As a oh. kid, I didn't go to a religious school. I'm not... Didn't know that you did a morning prayer session, but mm. makes sense. Yep. And and remember, primary schools, I guess, littler kids. Yep. You'll find God um, later, in, later in life. Uh, you know, God can be many places, and God <laughs> can be within. He might not be at school. Mm-hmm. Uh, so power move between two kids. A student had said a prayer. So from my understanding here, I guess it's a bit of a freestyle prayer session. Yep. So guys, ask for whatever you want. Yep. Um, you know, obviously encouraged to, I would assume, pray for, you know. Health and family and peace, yep. Goodwill. For all, but 
you know, maybe oh. it seems a bit freestyle. Oh, One, BMX bike. <laughs> yeah, well, also, also, you know, if 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 you've you know protected the forests, I'd love a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> um, so one student had said a prayer and asked for something to happen. Mm-hmm. Then that news made its way to another student who then said a prayer and asked for the opposite thing to happen. <laughs> <laughs> therefore, <laughs> therefore, cancelling out the first student's prayer. <laughs> ultimate power move. And it really is the ultimate power really move. Like if it. you're using God, yes. I mean, name a higher power. <laughs> hey, this one's from Marcus Smith. Power move works best when your friend is an alpha dog kind of guy. Yep. Introduce him to a new group as Robin. He'll ask why. You go, well, obviously, Batman and Robin. <laughs> I really like it. Uh, and uh, mm-hmm. when you see a friend or anyone else with a book that they've been reading for a little while, simply ask, gee, are you still reading? <laughs> <laughs> Um, Haim, obviously big, big news that our Power Moves book should be. If, you, if you're checking the shipping documents, has okay, the ship, has, yeah, has the ship arrived yet? It's got to be close. tracker.net <laughs> forward slash Power Moves book forward slash code only we know forward slash live track. Very close, Ando. Caught in a, not a storm, but a high breeze off the coast. Yeah, well, the man who knows all about it, he's going to join us now. Uh, our head of distribution, Hogs, ahoy to you. G'day, boys. How are you, Hogs? What an exciting day. Are you nervous, oh. mate? So when does it arrive? Um, it arrives next week. Are you at right. the docks? Uh, I won't be. I'll be waiting at the warehouse. Yeah. Right. Who, who do you send yeah. to the docks? Um, oh, just the truck just picks her up. Yep. You book they that? Us, <laughs> they, yeah, that's that's the all included in the service. They, right. um, they'll give us an alert the day before. Yep. Probably a 6 a.m. arrival. Unpack and uh, away we go. Uh, with is there some kind of escort, whether it be police escort or armor guard vehicles for the truck hogs, or yeah. have you, or have you got multiple trucks that are decoys that are, that all look the same, and they're all going to pull out at the same time? And Thomas so Crown Affair. Yeah, um, I think you got to pay extra for that. <laughs> yeah, right. We haven't done that. Can you, can you say we've done it just so thieves are listening? Yeah. I did click the button, actually. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> and yeah. how many decoy trucks did you like? One to three, three to five, seven to nine. Three to five seems like enough. We don't need to go overboard. But I don't want the, I don't want the lowest option. Um, Hogs, have you inspected the truck in terms of its axle strength, tire pressure? Because they're a heavy book. We they're know a they're a book. really yeah. heavy book. I know. They've, we haven't. Uh, we've gone top of the range with the paper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hogs. What do you in, can you guarantee that if people order this week by the mm-hmm. end of this week yeah. that they'll get it if they're in Australia that they'll get it before Christmas? Absolutely. Wow. We've got a team of thirty packing just just so we can get it out in in a day. Yeah. And how many of those are your nephews? <laughs> Well, that's the problem. They're all they're all in year eleven, and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hire a minibus, yes. pick them up, go straight to the warehouse. Are you joking? <laughs> are you right? Are we? Are you? Are you weaseling this as work experience? Are you? Are you? Are you involved? In, this is like one level under is- having prisoners do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's meant to be a joke. Uh, so hang on, you have you are hiring a minibus. A bunch of your elements. Will you drive it? I'll drive it. What if, if they're will. screaming at you to go through Maccas? <laughs> what, what, day day to <laughs> what day is this? What day is it? When are you doing this? Well, it depends when it arrives. I'll basically so they're I'll, on call. Put them on alert. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they doing exams or anything? <laughs> you you're gonna all have to go to one mate's house, and I'll pick you all up from there, mm-hmm. and we'll go out to the warehouse. And mm. um, we'll just do a day of picking. How do what you know these year 11s? Be? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you know the year 11s? How do you know these year 11s, Hogs? <laughs> um, nephew, another nephew of mine. Yeah, so and it's all his mates. Mother. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, um, so they've, what, they've, finished, they've finished their exams. They have finished, They're all okay. good. They're, They're all, all good. good. What day might it be? Because I'm pretty keen to get on this bus. I just want to see. <laughs> yeah. Just an observer. Uh, uh, I just this is so see. exciting. <laughs> I just want to sit there and just 
you know, I don't want to be talked to. I just want to monitor what you do and how, about how you go about <laughs> getting the team constructed. What day are you thinking it might be, Hawks? Well, I'm hoping it arrives like Wednesday. Okay. And then if, if it arrives Wednesday, I'll get the forklift out. I'll just, you know, I'll make sure that, you know, they'll, I'll put them in order mm-hmm. so they're all ready to go, make sure the labels are printed out. And then I'm thinking it's a weekend job. Right. And I'll pick them up on, on Saturday morning and we'll I'm just in. head out there. I'm okay. In. Now, I'm okay, in. so Hogs, you <laughs> – so the year 11s don't have to take a day off school because that's the other thing I was wondering, like, yeah, are you yeah. getting them out of school to do this? Because school's certainly yeah. still on. Yes. Yes, it is, it is actually. Um, I think we're going to have to do it on the weekend. Okay. Yep. That's okay. Good. That's all right. Good I just, I mean, how many year 11s are we talking? Well, 30. 30. Jeez. Yeah. 30? Wow. That's a cool, but I actually, I actually it's a not a mini bus. To booking no. the bus. Yeah. You need two buses, you might, Andy. You you're going to have to be the driver of the other bus. <laughs> I've got my heavy, rigid vehicle license. <laughs> Andy's going to have to drive the bus, Hawks, <laughs> 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 to, to, to deliver 30 year 11s <laughs> to the warehouse. <laughs> but, I mean, look, for anyone that knows year 11 or has been a year 11, you're, it's the time of your life where you're just absolutely full of beans. So yeah. I'm stoked that we have 30 year 11s doing yes. this. Yeah. I mean, I reckon you like it, at the moment, the way the world is, like with the logistical problems that are going on, the the supply mm. chain gluts that are around the planet. More year 11s should be. <laughs> to be able to be able to go, this thing has been pa- picked and packed with the power of 30 year 11s. Yeah. Gives you so much confidence purchasing before Christmas. It might be the only thing you can actually rely on to be there before Christmas. Hogs, is there some kind of general assessment test we can do of the 30 to make sure that yeah. we put the right people in charge? Because there will be more leaders amongst the yeah, 30. Yeah, that's true. Imagine. There'll be slackers. Yeah, I've asked for the smart. As smart as you can get. <laughs> You, I, you know, when I was in year 11, I probably wouldn't have made the cut. <laughs> <laughs> so these are, these are 30 absolute whip smart year 11s. Yeah. <laughs> but what about like uh, hand strength, arm strength? You know, I mean, when you're in the year yeah. 11, you do have severe arm. You do you yeah. do have quite a lot of hand strength, if I remember <laughs> yeah. correctly. So they're, yeah. mm. they're fired up, they're trained, they've got mm. strong hands and they're ready ready to Let's do go. it. Um, yeah. All from the same school? Same school, yep. Okay, right. And is it a yep. mixture of boys and girls, or is it a guys' school, girls' school? Um, it's actually co-ed, but great. I, I don't know how many girl. Like you know how the boys normally stick together. I don't know how many girlfriends they have. Mm. Oh, well, no, well, I'm, I'm very, very happy. Very, we just want the most capable. It's uh, yes. you know, yeah. But I don't want any don't want any young lovers we going don't, out together. That's the thing. <laughs> don't want, we want we want the supreme capability. I mean, I'd you know you could argue you'd probably want you know thirty girls in there, a bit more yes. level headed. I would imagine. Have, yeah. Of course, very happy for there to be a mix mix of boys and girls. But I do think I back Andy here. That no any young lovers. can we mandate that though? I mean, it already feels borderline illegal. We're hiring thirty year eleven. <laughs> I don't think from an HR perspective you can come in and go. You're not allowed to have feelings for a fellow packer. You can. Well, we can just separate them. We'll just put. The girls on one side. Yeah, but they'll be sneaking, they'll be sneaking down, they, mate. It just well, makes them want it more. As soon as you, turn, <laughs> as as you turn your back, they'll be sneaking down an aisle. I don't know. I, I know it sounds controversial, but I want no like you know, young love. <laughs> no young love. We want this to and be not, a love loveless and efficient operation. And that's just that's to, that's the same with same sex love as well. Obviously, like just just, oh, it's yeah, a no, just yo, no no young relationships, lovers, no relationships because we need this to go out clear and clear minded people sending them out. Oh, uh, what about this, Anna? What if I would I would respect the honesty for someone to go look? You know, we are we are a couple, we're but we're doing this together, yeah. and we. You know, we'd like our honesty and respect coming forward to you hmm. to, you know, like a, like a smoker's break, we get 15 minutes off. <laughs> For Mac and on. We get, we get make-out breaks. Because <laughs> um, otherwise we're going to take them. We're going to, you yeah. know, we're being honest about yeah, it. I think, Hogs, if they're honest about it, I yeah, would be willing to entertain that. All right. I'll, yep. uh, we'll see how we go. you bargained for here. You, you can't be picky when you ask for 30, you know. Yeah. I know, you, you, A, we're saying, yeah, can they be smart? And also, can they not be interested in each other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no, reckon Hogs is, Hogs is repeating just what the principal told him as he filled out the, <laughs> I'd like to hire your students form. Well, you've already asked for smart ones. You can't ask for ones that aren't horny. Hogs, <laughs> oh, uh, thank you, mate. Good luck. I'll see you Saturday. I can't You're going to need Andy for uh, sure. Um, 
hamishandy.com for people who want to purchase the book. But we've got to stress, it, it'll get there before Christmas if you get your act together today uh, or this week. Is that right, Hawks? Oh, it's not for overseas, though. And I think it's a Black Friday special. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Should we be doing a Black Friday event? <laughs> <laughs> what, so you think we should lower the price for one day or something? Oh, probably Just say it's, just it's, say it's, it's, just say it's, it's Black Friday. Just say it's Black Friday. You just go, you know, yeah. Black Friday off and get your Power Moves book now. I mean, think We could put a golden ticket in one of them. Yeah, get you know just what? just you know get some year 11s to sign some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I will we, sign, when I get when I get out there, I will sign. I'll sign ten. And Ando, and that, you, yeah. you pick a year eleven on my behalf because I'm obviously yeah. I'll be in Sydney. I can't make it to yeah. the warehouse in Melbourne. Yeah. You pick who you think's audition them, get them to do my yeah. signature, and whoever does okay. mine the best, yeah. know that. You know, it's actually signed by a year eleven, pretending to be me, but yeah, great, it's the best great. of thirty. And and for people that purchase on Friday, the the the, the special uh, signature year eleven signature edition book is available <laughs> for those who purchase on Black Friday. That's the Black Friday offer. Can you get Beyonce's signature for that as well? Uh, no, <laughs> Hogs. Black Friday is all about the perception of value. <laughs> <laughs> Orgs, good um, luck, mate. Cheers. This right, is fantastic. I'm stoked. <laughs> hey, final show of the year before the government mandated a uh, break, three month break. Of course, were we to, to release any fresh podcasting content uh, past this show until. Mm. Um, Geez, until nearly March, then, of course, we would serve time in the clink. And we don't want to do that because yes. they really don't mess around. You, they, you cannot muck around when the government mandates the break. Yep. So we'll take it and we'll force ourselves to enjoy it. However, mm. through our barrister, we were able to <laughs> get one little loophole carved out so you yeah. can enjoy some Hamish and Andy podcast content over the summer. Of course, you can listen to old episodes and catch up if you need to. Yeah, And you can introduce it to friends and have a great time laughing and bonding over <laughs> over, the, great the, audio content, over yeah. the great content. That's Not totally content. fine. No. That's totally fine. But you can also, as per our recent legal victory um, mm. with our barrister, thank you to Sarah mm. um, O'Connell yep. QC, who is bloody good and yes. got us, uh, we're allowed to sell the Power Moves book over summer. Yep. And as, if, dot com. Um, yep. I'm, I'll be heading out there with a bunch of year 11s. I've yeah, spoken yeah. to Hawks <laughs> this week. I don't. I have rescinded my offer to drive a heavy, rigid vehicle out. Are you there. not doing the bus? Well, my worry is I don't want to spend the whole day out there, and oh. so I was happy to. I wanted to take them out. That's fine. But then the idea yeah. of having to yeah, then, you're their lift home. home. No, no, no. no they're, yeah. they're lift home. I don't want to do that. And also, so, just just get a real bus driver. I mean, it's one thing driving me and Jack around on our band tour a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. But a bus full of Year Elevens is a whole another barrel of fish, mate. So what I'll do is I'll I'll get on that bus and then I'll keep an eye out for young lovers. And yeah, just yeah. Make oh, sure. oh, cool. That doesn't sound yeah. creepy. <laughs> <laughs> because when we did talk about last week, we just, just think that you know everyone's welcome, but it's That's just the clear. distraction, the distraction factor of, of young of lovers being in love. We feel like that, yeah. Whilst we, like, you know, we've got a lot of customers waiting to get their power moves book. Okay, I'll leave that up to you. How you police the year elevens, <laughs> and uh, but I am, I'm, I'm one. I mean, I've, uh, I'm very excited. We've, we've heard from Hogs just you mm. know, a couple of little bits and pieces here and there of how excited the year 11s are how good at work they are yeah how fired how well rested they are <laughs> so they're really going to get those orders out if you do want to get the power moves book as Ando said hamishnandy.com is guaranteed the to get it before it. christmas if you get now um Haim, let's wrap up the year though with another round of power moves permission to go long on this one ando because there's yeah. so many great ones that have come through so many great power moves this year i mean of course the power moves volume 2 book is out Yes, selling fiercely. Uh, they w are in. They're they're in. They've arrived <laughs> at if the you warehouse. Go, if you under they boat should be going out now. Mm, I'm just on boattracker.global.net mm. forward mm. slash p moves book forward slash special code only we know so we can see um, where they are and of course it just shows you the boat's docked location. 
Yeah. Um, it's but the boat's being repaired at the moment. The boat that bought them across from China after being printed. Because the books are too heavy. Because of the weight. Yeah. <laughs> the books it, are too uh, strong. Yeah, under hull repair. Yeah. So get your book at amsterdam.com <laughs> and it will not. What One is okay. One you will be able to handle, but certainly yep. a crate of those, the boat wasn't ready. And as Hogg said last week, he, if in Australia, guarantees if you order this week, you'll get it before Christmas, but there's no international complaints. <laughs> I mean, the supply chain it. thing. I mean, you've seen some of the gluts around the world. Yeah. get it, Just get in fast. Get yeah. in fast is, what else can we say in it? This comes in from Paul Finch. It's a, he is a wedding photographer. So it's mm-hmm. a two-pronged uh, wedding okay. photography power move. Okay. Number one, when taking a photo, after asking everyone to smile, pick one person in the photo that's a little bit annoying and look at them with a confer- concerned face and politely ask, do you have another smile you could possibly use? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, great. In a full group photo situation, after taking the photo, pick one person by name, usually the one that's been a little bit annoying, and ask them to hop out of the group with no explanation (laughs) before taking the photo again and thanking everyone for being involved. (laughs) Tremendous. This is from Georgia Lee. She said, if you want to up someone in a conversation, this is great heading into the Christmas period, particularly work Christmas parties. Simply say, Hey, can you swim? Because you look like someone who can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> well, we like it. Um, this is from Jason, uh, mm-hmm. one of our Kiwi, a Hoidoa Kiwi podcasters. Jiu-jitsu based power move. Wow. Okay. Yeah, because this is a power move done on me. I was rolling with a dude, which is jiu-jitsu slang for sparring. I'm just reading. Yeah. And I held a dominant position called the mount. While I was in this position, going for a submission... The person I was rolling with, even though I was better, said to me, come on, do it like we practised. <laughs> <laughs> this left me looking like the student. Good move. Like it from Patty. This is a barista power move. Very good. When someone who has a very normal name for their order, for example, Matt, mm-hmm. ask them to spell it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Really good. Mm. Not sure if we've had this one because it's such a goodie that you're like, geez, we, we might have had it, but just in case. Comes in from Luke. If someone you know has a baby and you find out the child's name, instantly make a Gmail account with the standard <laughs> first dot last at Gmail email and offer it to them for a small fee or hold them to ransom. Up to you. <laughs> really like that. Hey, this one came in direct email to me yep. from Adam right. Spencer. Oh, <laughs> shit, okay. <laughs> Our mathematician. Who actually, Jack, has he been teaching you chess? Because he was, he, didn't we say... Is he, yeah, he's he bears, been playing you. He, he, oh, on the chess.com app, you can look at any other plays, and he looked me up, and then he banned me. I've never spoken to Adam before, by the Adam, way. Adam. Call, <laughs> called, called me, and he said, you got to stop playing games. You can only do the puzzles and the lessons. <laughs> For the foreseeable future. And I've had he's, to check in with him every couple of weeks. <laughs> you what dead. a power move. So he's, he's essentially come in yeah. and, and made you feel like he's your chess sensei. Yeah. he is. Well, we, unasked, unsolicited, he's now my coach, I guess. And that, so anybody who's... He's, so, can, sorry, so if you play a game, can he see that if you, you know, play a game, would he see it and go, hang on, what are you doing, mate? You could only be You're doing You're not good enough. You're not good see, enough for games. He can see everything that my profile does. So he's allowed me to play one game, one 15-minute game every two weeks. And so... <laughs> If every... Why are you letting him? Why are you letting him? Because <laughs> he says this is how I will get, I will improve my chess. So for everybody who's trying to play me, this is why I can't play you, and, I, and I'm ignoring game requests because Adam Spencer told me I can't play at the moment. <laughs> because you, you 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 turned up to a boxing match and another, and some guy just wore the same jacket as your team and moved in and went, I'm this guy's coach. Yeah. He said I'll and instill hard... bad habits if I keep playing games the way I'm playing. Harsh coach. Have mm. you seen the film Whiplash? Yes, he's yes. very much like the teacher from yeah. Whiplash and I'm it's the like drummer. A, it, it's a cross between searching for Bobby Fischer and which Whiplash. Not, not quite my checkmate. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that, that I mean, gives you an idea of how, <laughs> how much of a power move specialist it's, it's Spence is. Okay, this is excellent. So I'm glad I asked that, Jack. He says it, it requires two people this power move. Yeah, when you find an idiot on chess.com, <laughs> convince them you, you're their coach <laughs> and start charging them a monthly fee for chess coaching. <laughs> he said, if you're going to Woolworths or Coles, I reckon, with a mate, find an 
incredibly obscure item whose name doesn't immediately suggest the section it would should be it be in the shop. For gotcha. instance, Caribbean jerk seasoning rub. Right? Gotcha. Then split up. Agree on the item. <laughs> yep. Then then split up. One of you approaches the staff member and says, hey, do you have any idea where the Caribbean jerk seasoning rub might be? That's when the second friend approaches <laughs> and, and, and waits a couple of awkward seconds for the, uh, the, shot, the attendant to sit there and have a think about it before yep. going, sorry, I didn't want to eavesdrop, but I'm pretty sure the Caribbean <laughs> jerk seasoning rub is in aisle seven, <laughs> about halfway down on the left third shelf. It's between the, muschetti, uh, the spaghetti and the Himalayan. Uh, anyway, cheers, guys. Have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> now, hats off to Spence for, uh, you know, he's obviously busy with his chess coaching to have, <laughs> yeah, the, time, to have the time to execute that move and perfect it. He's the guy the the guy's more, guy's yeah? a polymath. This is, this is such a great one, Ando. Okay. It's simple. It's super powerful. Well, let's leave everyone with this over Love it. summer, over the government mandated break to have a think about Something for people to try maybe before the end of the work year or when they come back. It's a workplace power move. Comes in from Jacob. It says, write a list of all the co-workers in your workplace on a whiteboard. Begin to add tallies next to each name, but don't give the list a name and let panic, let panic set in. 